Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, friends. And welcome on back to a little randomized perfection action. How are we doing here today? Hello, hello. I apologize for any background noise you may hear. They... The, there's there's construction going on outside that I am I was unable to convince them that my stream is more important than the construction going on so uh, so we may have to deal with some background noise hopefully not too bad but <laughs> but but the warning is there hope you're all doing well though convince them harder it's just, I, yeah, I really, I, I really hope you can't hear too much. It sounds like, probably the best analogy I can think of is that it sounds like I'm in the middle, I'm sitting inside of a microwave. You know, it's got that kind of constant, just like, sound going on. It's just, it's just very, very constant and very humming. And pretty loud to me, but maybe not to you, so. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed my mic is set up that it won't pick that up in uh, in any capacity here. Either way. Seems like most people, or at least a few people are saying they can't hear it, so... So I'm happy to see that, at the very least. Ooh, baby moonlight jelly. Good, good, good way to start. Right now you can't hear it, just sounds like, like good old normal audio quality, hopefully. That is the ideal. All right, awesome. Well then, I digress. Hopefully everyone's been doing okay. No new fan art to speak of today, but there is a little bit, to, there's there's still a little bit to talk about. First and foremost, Concerned Ape has posted yet another non-spoilery patch note for version 1.6 over on his Twitter. Today, he tells us, that spouses will now have a seven-day honeymoon period after marriage, which prevents them from laying in bed all day due to being upset, which honestly I didn't even realize was a thing that they could do, that they could just lie in bed all day from being upset. <laughs> um, but hey, you know, that's nice. Cute little, I like this phrase, this like a honeymoon period. It makes me wonder if there's anything that's more that's going to be going on in that honeymoon period or if it's just, if it's just a cute label for that. Didn't see that one. It was posted, like, less than an hour ago, so. But that's very cute, yeah. I love that. <laughs> you didn't know they could lay in bed upset? I don't know what causes it. I don't know if they can just do it randomly sometimes, like, if they're just not having a good day. Or if, like, you give them a, a, a gift that they hate or something. I don't know, but... IRL said, Shane says it's a personal attack on him. I saw that, that Concerned Ape retweeted that as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So yeah, that's very exciting. Yet another thing to look forward to in 1.6. As always. I'm sure there's many more just little fixes and tidbits and additions. Uh, in addition to obviously all the big stuff that we're all looking forward to. And the second thing I wanted to mention before we get, get on with the show today is that it came to my attention, it was posted on the Discord last night, over in the video discussion section of the Discord, that uh, someone has completed the Master Angler Challenge again. It is a Chinese Stardew Valley player by the by the name of Mel Melanity, I believe is how it would be pronounced, Melanity. And they've, and they've shared it over on the Discord. They've actually shared like a few links there, where they did the Master Angler Challenge without bubbles. Which was an astonishing, an astonishing thing to, to to realize. They did it without bubbles, and they finished at like I think they finished at like 1:30 a.m. in the day. So, yeah, kind of kind of floored to see that. So, definitely check it out. There is a link if you go to the Discord exclamation point Discord, or there is a link to the Discord beneath the stream as well. There is a, uh, they've, they've shared a link to their video on Billy Billy, which is basically the Chinese equivalent to YouTube. Um, they've got, they've got a few different ones there. I, I don't know if it was, if it was them doing, because they posted three different ones of people completing the challenge. Uh, one of them, I think two of them were, were without bubbles, and then one of them was with, with bubbles and chairs and the whole shebang. Did they start it because of my challenge? They did, yeah. They said they were inspired to give it a try because of, uh, 
because of my video, which was really, really cool. <laughs> it was very cool to see it optimized that way. I have I admittedly haven't sat down and watched through like the full thing. I, I intend to when I get a free minute here, but yeah, it was I was floored to see that that, <laughs> that was even possible to do without bubbles, without without chair chairs or anything like that. It's uh I knew it would be optimized. I, I knew that the challenge would eventually be optimized. There was no way that it was like only a challenge that that I would do one time and no one else would catch any interest in wanting to do themselves. So, so very cool to see. It took them a long time, they said. I think they said like they did 50 plus hours of attempts um, over the course of like a month and a half kind of thing. So, so it was definitely hard fought. Very big kudos to Mel Melanity. I'm probably going to share it on like a community post or something as well, just because I want to... I want to get the word out about that. It's it's very neat, very very neat. And spe seeing it, yeah, from China as well is just like you know, seeing seeing how far of a reach that, that the challenge has had is is very cool in its own right. There's still room for optimization, obviously. There's still room, you know. I don't think it, I don't think any of those attempts caught the uh, caught like the the extra five legendary fish, the the extended family version from that Mr. Chi quest. Which I, I still don't know if that's even... Like, in theory, it's technically possible, but in practice, who's to say? 1.6 could add some new fish. There's there's many different ways it could still go, so... Now time for Blade to do it before midnight without bubbles. If anyone could do it. If anyone could do it. <laughs> so, yeah, very cool to see. Wanted to give that a shout-out for sure. Definitely check it out on the Discord if you're so inclined. And, uh, yeah... I'm excited. I'm excited for them, and I'm excited for me because now I get to now I get to go back into randomized perfection after our dailies, of course. This could be the final randomized perfection stream before uh, 1.6, by the way, because 1.6 drops on, I believe it's Tuesday next week. Yeah, it's Tuesday next week, um, four days away, which is just mind-boggling to think about. And I don't know if I'll be doing a stream on Monday, so definitely gonna be streaming on Tuesday, obviously. Doing the doing the whole big 1.6 shebang on stream. So <laughs> excited for that. But I don't know if it's gonna be uh I don't know if this is the last perfection randomized perfection stream or not. We'll see. But we're gonna make it a good one either way. To that effect, let's go ahead and start with our daily Poke Doku into Puffertle. Get the show on the road, shall we? Mobby, welcome on in. Good to see you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Poke Doku Master Puzzle by Moopston. Let's see what we got. I'm, I'm seeing some categories already that are that are freaking me out. Any of these that are like can learn X move, evolve by friendship, evolve by oh no, this is gonna be. If I manage to pull this off somehow, I'm going to be quite surprised at myself, to be honest with you. Some of these are my Achilles heels when it comes to categories. A Pokemon from Alola, Generation 7, that is evolved by item. Evolved by an item. The only one that comes to mind is Vikavolt, which is evolved via Thunderstone. Oh, isn't... I think Alolan Ninetales, actually, maybe, is also evolved by, like, an Ice Stone. In fact, I'm pretty... I'm reasonably confident in that. I've already guessed the Lola Ninetales in the past. Have I guessed Vikavolt? I have guessed Vikavolt in the past. I mean, I'm not beyond guessing them if I if I have to, but are there any other Pokemon that immediately come to mind? Um, that are evolved via item in Generation 7? I'm going to say no. So let's go with Ninetales Alola, because I feel like it's the le the lesser, lesser, less common option of them of those two. All right. An Alolan Pokemon that can learn Ice Beam. That should be a little bit easier. I would probably say... Let me think, like, Alolan Ice types. I mean, obviously, Alolan Ninetales is, is, is right there, but I can't guess that again. Um, can learn Ice Beam. Why can't I think of any, like, Ice types from, from Alola? There's Crabominable, but that's... I don't know if he can learn Ice Beam, because he's kind of like a big, muscly crab dude. He's more like a physical guy. I bet you Primarina can. I bet you Primarina is the water starter. I feel like you can definitely learn Ice Beam, so I'm going to give you a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, evolved by Friendship from Alola. Evolved by Friendship in Alola. See, this is... We're gonna, I'll come back to that one. Evolved by Friendship is kind of tough. 
Uh, normal type Pokemon that is evolved by an item. I'm going to hit you with Clefable on this one. Clefable's normal. Actually, Clefable might just be Fairy, right? Which one is... But Wigglytuff is normal Fairy, I'm pretty sure. And it's evolved by a Moonstone. So I'm just going to go with that. A normal type Pokemon that can learn Ice Beam. Arceus. <laughs> I'm just I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. <laughs> All right, and um, a normal type Pokemon evolved by friendship. Could that be Snorlax? I think Munchlax evolves via friendship. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm piecing it together. Middle evolution evolved by item. Like that's that's a tough one, honestly, because it evolves. It's it evolves from an item and then it evolves again. Requires the post-evolution Pokemon. Um, is this Porygon 2, maybe? That's the only thing I can think of, because doesn't Porygon 2 evolve with, like, the, the that CD thing? And then Porygon Z evolves again? Maybe that's it? Alright, 50... There's, there's something else there, but Porygon 2 does work. Okay. Um... A middle evolution that can learn Ice Beam. This should be relatively simple, just like a middle evolution ice type Pokemon. Hit me with, like, Celio on this. I already guessed Celio. How about Vanillish? Vanillish. We'll take that. We take those. Okay. Middle evolution evolved by friendship. That should also be relatively straightforward, I think. I think I could actually do. Um... Could I do. I'm trying to think. Actually, Chansey. Chansey, don't you evolve by... Okay, you're... I've already guessed Chansey. Have I guessed Jigglypuff? I have guessed Jigglypuff. Have I guessed Clefairy? I have not guessed Clefairy, so we'll go there. Easy. There's, like, a whole suite of them that are evolved by friendship there. On the Lowland Pokemon that's evolved by friendship, though, this is where... This is where I die, I think. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. On a Lowland Pokemon that evolves via friendship... Friendship-based evolutions in Alola. Like, all the Pokemon I'm thinking of do not evolve at all or don't evolve via friendship. Does Type Null evolve via friendship into Silvali? I don't remember how, how that evolution works. I don't think it's friendship, is it? It's kind of the only one that's coming to mind, though. I don't remember how that evolution goes. And friendship would make sense with like the story of Silvali, so I'm just gonna take a guess. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna, because I can't think of anything else, so I'm just gonna hope and pray. Oh, let's go! <laughs> let's. Go. Sometimes you gotta just dig deep in your brain and trust what you find there, even if it doesn't make perfect sense to you. Alolan Persian, apparently, as well. Okay, Silvali and Alolan Persian. Diplin. Okay, this is another. I was, I was curious about this one. Middle evolutions evolved by item. Chancy, actually. Wait, Chansey... I thought Chansey evolved via... I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> we got there in the end. We got there in the end. Alolan Persian. They're the only two, huh? Silvali and Alolan Persian. I can't believe I actually found that one. 44% of people guessed that one correctly. And I am in there. This was a hard one today. 5.9 average. 98 most unique. I got 231. I'm, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Yo, it was the 55,000th game. That's pretty cool. I I will gladly take that. That was a that was a high stakes Poke Doku right there. Will our puff fertile be equally challenging today? Let's find out, shall we? Boom, daily. Okay. Not moving around that much. It's definitely giving similar vibes to what we caught yesterday. Which was the sea cucumber, right? Um Honestly, it felt like almost identical to that, so I'm just gonna go see cucumber again. Okay, I, I figured it wouldn't be the same one two days in a row, but I don't think I don't know if there's any logic to prevent that. So, all right. So almost so it's certainly a freshwater fish of some capacity. The time is correct. I think the the sea cucumber is until 7 p.m. Weather is partially correct, which is interesting. So this is either a rainy or a sunny day fish. Maybe you're a sunfish then. You could this could this could be the sunfish profile. It sure enough is. There you go. I don't know why he's highlighted in blue like that, but we got him. <laughs> I 
I should have gone. I guess sunfish first last time. I should have gone with my gut again here. Not bad, not bad. Except it's a flounder. We haven't seen the flounder in Puff Fertile in a long time. We're over we're overdue, I would say. Yo, Ta Tanya Tanya Vare? Tanya Vare? Welcome to the live stream. Glad you're able to catch one here. There we go. How long did it take me to make the copper axe in in memoriam video that I did in the that I shared in the last stream? I'm not going to I'm being honest, being this is complete complete honesty. I had the idea for it at uh cuz for for me the stream started yesterday, it started at noon. I had the idea for that in memoriam video at 9 a.m. that day. I I did I had breakfast and did all my morning stuff. I started working at it working on it at like 10:30 <laughs> and got it done in bot in about an, like an hour or so. It was so it was uh it was you know it was it was pretty it was pretty straightforward. I, all I had to do the hardest part honestly was just like finding the clips that I needed to use and then just editing to, ed, editing them together was totally straightforward. But it was so good. What video? I'll have to share it on the on the Discord as like an isolated clip. I'll definitely have to do that because it was it was it was fun. You know, it was a simple little project, but it was a fun one to make. <laughs> All right, let's get into the Stardew Valley gameplay. I could not agree more, Vince. Let me go ahead and open up Smappy here. I'm happy for Smappy. Is it in the VOD? It is in the VOD. It's in yesterday's VOD. I believe it was. It's around like the like the 23 minute mark or something like that. So definitely check it out there if you're if you're so inclined. Just a cute little, a little silly video. Luca Games, welcome on in. Time to do volcano runs for Cinder Shards. That is the order of the day to start off with here. Our current goal, I should pin it actually. I should get it pinned here because it's probably going to be our goal for, for a hot second. Nightbot, where are you at? Don't let me down here. We are. We need to craft deluxe retaining soil, which should be easy enough as soon as we're able to get the recipe for it. Getting the recipe, we need to trade 50 cinder shards at the island trader on Ginger Island. And uh, beyond that, I think we probably have all the necessary ingredients. Does it require radioactive ore? Is that is this the one that requires radioactive ore to craft? I mean, not that we don't have that, obviously. We're already we're, we're totally covered on that after all our danger in the deep dives. We'll find out one way or another, I suppose. All right, I've got mermaid boots on, which are perfectly valid for the volcano. I've got, I've still got my volcano-based rings as well that I like to have. Um, Andromeda and Orion, you guys are gonna hold down the fort while I'm gone. This is this is a big important job, but I trust you both with it. You're old enough now. I think you can have uh, free reign of the house, and I, I'm, and I don't think I'll ever regret that decision. Yep, yeah, yeah, Maru has to leave for work, so it's just you it's just you two and Pi. So best best of luck to you and all the fish. Alright. V, welcome on in. We are currently gearing up for a volcano run. Because we need to go grab ourselves some cinder shards in order to trade for the deluxe deluxe retaining soil recipe, which we will then craft. Easy peasy. Does not require radioactive ore. I was wondering about that. I I think I'm thinking of like the uh like deluxe fertilizer. I think that's the one that requires radioactive ore. Have a good one there, Mobby. Thank you for hanging out for a minute. Take care. Alright, put all this away. Let's put away all the stuff we're not gonna need for the volcano. Something tells me I won't need a scythe, I won't need a hoe, and I won't need an axe. But I will need a watering can. I'm also not, not going to need this hay. I'll have to grab some buffing food as well. I should have this down to a science by now, you would hope, right? I think our homey sword is over at the um, mines. I'll go pick it up for good luck, you know? I, I was going to say I can just take the dwarf sword, but I'm going to pick up the actual proper homey blade 
for good luck. Not that I'm going to be fighting any monsters, mind you, because our combat experience is extremely limited right now, but I will be, um, we don't have any triple shots, so I'm going to have to just use coffee here, I guess. Triple, so I've got coffee, and I got some crab cakes. I'll grab, like, grab a decent amount of crab cakes. I don't want to bring too many in case I, like, die and lose a bunch or something, but unlikely, I would say. What else do I need here? So I gotta, I gotta go grab my weapon from the mines. Let's go ahead and I'll... Well, first I will grab... There was something else I wanted to grab here. Hold on a second. Grab to get these out of here. I just want to leave room for the weapon so that I remember. Grab the cinder shard. So we can pile them up. Anything else we're missing? We've got our rings. We've got boots. We've got food to survive. We've got buffs. I think that covers all our bases here, honestly. Speak now or forever hold your peas. Mmm, peas. I haven't had peas in a long time, honestly. I had green beans as part of breakfast not too long ago. Not not as part of breakfast, sorry, just as part of a, a meal. Not that you couldn't have them for breakfast, but they're not my go-to breakfast food. There's my homie blade. And let's head off to... I'll just head straight to town here, actually. But I haven't had actual, like, peas in a long time. Which is a shame, because I, I love peas. Do I have a... I have Danger in the Deep going on here. I guess I should probably knock that out while I'm still in town here. I should have staircases waiting at the mines. I might as well just take care of this so that I don't have to worry about coming back, because we're probably going to be on the island for a few days. So let me just get this done. Grab a grab the chi gems for it. At this point, I'm basically just like collecting chi gems for the sake of trying to get, um, for the sake of trying to get to like the maximum amount of chi gems. I want to see like if I get 999. I imagine the the like the counter is just gonna like overflow, so I'll still be able to collect more, but it, it'll just like kind of display weirdly. That's my guess, but I'm curious to see how it's gonna go either way. You were in Japan recently and came across toasted peas. Toasted peas. I'm trying to even think of how that would go. I wonder if that's something you can make in, like, an air fryer. My mom is big on the air fryer. She, I, I mean, I have an air fryer as well. Um, but she she uses her ba hers basically daily. For good reason. You can You can make some good food out of an air fryer. Not a hair fryer. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very different thing. I don't know if you can make much good food with a hair fryer. Or a hair dryer, for that matter. Hey, Brittany. Thank you for becoming a member at the Electron level, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your newfound emojis and your sword. Careful where you swing that thing. The H is silent. Overbaked chickpeas are the bomb. I think for, as part of dinner later tonight, I'm actually, this is apropos of nothing at all, but it made me think of it for some reason. I'm going to be making some, some gnocchi, which I haven't had in a long time. Apparently, my mom says that, that gnocchi is really good in the air fryer. She says everything's really good in the air fryer, so I don't, I mean, I don't know how far to trust her on that, but I'm willing to give it a whirl this time. I haven't had gnocchi in, like, quite a while, so I'm looking forward to it. I don't even fully know what gnocchi is, to be honest with you, like what it's composed of. All I know is that it like tastes real good. You know, some gnocchi, there's gonna be some like sour cream to go with it. Ooh, top-notch stuff. Potato flour. Are they just like, like tiny little pierogies, basically? Cause they definitely like give pierogi energy, but they're like, they're like small baby pierogies. Oh my gosh, that, that's not even an infested floor. Did you see how many spiders were there? <laughs> oh boy. Pierogies are stuffed. Yeah, 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 but it's like, but it's like the dough is like the same sort of consistency as, uh, as pierogies. Like raviolis. Well, raviolis aren't potato based though. I think, I don't know. There, maybe there are such things as, as potato raviolis. 
Too many spiders. Thank goodness this is not the, the 1 HP challenge, huh? I am looking forward to getting back to the 1 HP challenge. I've actually done a little bit of practice of some of like the later floors off stream for the 1 HP challenge. Just because I was like, I want to make some progress. I don't want to be constantly stuck doing the same, you know, first 40 floors and then having like just a, a very slim chance at some of the later floors. So I've been off stream. I've been like start. I would start at like floor 40 and try and get a little further and like just try and focus on those floors. And I kind of just like scouted out like 10 floors at a time to see how it's going. And I reg I do regret to inform you all that on the that on the day we're currently playing on for the 1 HP challenge, um, I believe it's floors 63 and 68 are infested, which are our spider based floors. So I think I can I think I can still beat them. I think I can still beat those floors without taking any damage. But there are a lot of spiders on those floors, so <laughs> it's a little scary. I'm excited to give it a try though. Like a, like a try for real. I haven't done any actual real attempts because I'm saving those for on stream. I'm merely doing like, you know, 10, 10 floor dry runs of the uh, various different aspects of it. One thing I will say though as well is that I do think that floors, that floors like 40, actually honestly floors like 60 or 50 through 70, are probably the hardest for like a 1 HP challenge. Seven, like 70 and beyond, 70 to 80 is kind of like a little dicey as well. 80 and beyond, it's, I mean, it's no joke still. This, I, don't think, I don't think it's gonna be nearly as bad as that section, just based on like the different kinds of monsters that are there. In my personal estimation. To 70 and beyond. I mean, yeah, that's it. The deepest I have gotten is 57, so remains to be seen. But I feel like if I can breach that 70 floor barrier, I've got a pretty decent chance of going the rest of the way. Not a guarantee by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm more confident about 70 and beyond than I am about 50 to 70 as a whole. All right. Do you think we have enough time for a volcano run still? 2 p.m. If I if I just like run up now, in fact, if I if I turn on these buffs right now, I think I can probably still make a good make a good crack at the volcano here. I might not be able to make it all the way through, but might as well at least get started here. Mining XP. I do have to keep an eye on mining XP. I mean, obviously we're still a ways away from a level, but we've been doing a lot of mining for just like interim goals here. And I want to leave that that leeway open, so I just have to be I just have to be you know conscious of that 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 may be something I have to worry about eventually. But for now, let's not worry too much. Obviously, I'm going to need to expend some mining XP on Cinder shards, but probably going to try to avoid any other. Ooh, this is this dragon tooth looks weird, dude. Two backwards dragon teeth just like hanging out there. <laughs> when the like when the I don't know just something about that that sprite being flipped on the ground like that was uh was freaking me out a little. We're still we'll start to expand. It'll also go on hold when 1.6 drops. I imagine so. Mostly because I don't know if uh like one point if expanded will be fully compatible with 1.6 right as it comes out. It's probably going to take at least a, a little bit of time for them to for them to adapt to the new update. I could be wrong. Maybe, I mean, that, like, modders do have some advanced access to the code and stuff, so maybe I'm uh, I'm mistaken on that, but we will we'll find out. Good start with the Cinder Shards, by the way. Sneak on through here if I can. Off to a better start on the on, on these cinder shards than we were on like our last few attempts anyway, because I remember the last few visits to the volcano, we would go through the entire thing and get like like two cinder shard nodes, so so things are already looking up in that regard. 
I'm gonna go ahead and sneak on down here. Let me try and get past you, my friend. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's not the way I intended to get past that, but it works. We need 50. Yeah, that's correct. Currently at 14. Because I, I grabbed all the ones that I already had at home, a.k.a. the one that I had at home. Sir? <laughs> all right, he kind of juked me there. I'll take my licks on that one. Upgraded watering can also makes things nicer. Very true. Very accurate. I'm going to have to re-up on coffee pretty consistently here. Coffee does not last very long, does it? A minute 23? That's like nothing, dude. That's like, that's like one floor, maybe. <laughs> Actually, it's probably more than one floor most of the time. There's a button somewhere. Probably on one of those islands out there if I had to take a, take a lark at it. I see it. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Maybe there's some cinder shard nodes over here. So at least a crate. Make good use of that. Coffee does not last long enough IRL. I mean, I'm thankful that I don't I don't like coffee, so I don't really drink it. I, I don't have to deal with that problem, but I can understand how that might be an issue. Especially, like, the, like the more coffee you drink, probably the less potent it's going to end up being, because you just get used to it, right? All right, another button-based floor. I think this is one of those floors that I have to, like, do, like, a little lap around. Like it's Romani Ranch or something. Just to run, run the laps and hit all the buttons. This should be relatively straightforward. I do, I do like these ones. It feels like there should be like little like speed boosts along the ground. It's almost like a little like racing mini game or something like that. Coffee's way too bitter. You could put like sh like milk and cream and stuff into it, but at that point it's like you know, I, why why don't you just drink like a milkshake instead? <laughs> Which maybe is what you want. Maybe you want like a coffee flavored milkshake. That's your prerogative, but. To me, the, just the coffee flavor on its own is, like, if, I, if I'm putting in so much milk and, and cream that I can't even taste the coffee even a little bit, then why am I drinking the coffee, right? The caffeine, maybe? I don't know. Coffee milkshakes are divine. I would take a coffee milkshake over just, like, a coffee, that's for sure. Go near the third crate and leaving is to hurt you. I promise you, it wasn't on purpose. At least, at least as far as you know, it wasn't on purpose. All right, I need to be careful. I don't want to accidentally kill that slime. Okay. Cinder shard me. Beautiful, beautiful. Eighteen cinder shards in a dream. Like, if we only mine Cinder Shard, no, they're 18 a pop, right? 18 experience a pop. If we only do those, it's, it's going to put us, like, still pretty decently close to, like, our next our next mining level. Not even counting all these little, like, three experience drops that I'm getting just from these, like, random stones I have to break to get past. That's all right. moments like this that I'm grateful we at least are level 8 mining, so I don't have to worry about it as much as I otherwise might have. Let's go ahead and pop on over to whatchamacallit here. Bro, can you leave me alone, you you stinky little tiger slime? Oh, okay, Cinder Shard node down there. It might be a little ways out of the way. Also, holy cow. I'm going to die. <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me? Okay, I should cross over here, I think. Uh, Yeah, we can sne snake on through here. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Another Cinder Shard no down there. Sometimes, sometimes you got to work a little hard for them. They're not just handing out these Cinder Shard nodes to to any old farmer that walks through these volcanoes. You gotta go out of your way for these guys. 
What about down here? I don't see any, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip out, because it is almost 11 p.m. as well. It's a fine juggling act of trying to stay alive, trying to get Cinder Shard nodes, and also trying to get out of here with time to spare. Okay. Sneak on by these little spike traps. These spike traps always make me think of like a Mario level. They seem like they seem like such like a Mario-esque like obstacle. <laughs> they they feel almost like they don't fit in Stardew Valley in a weird way. I wonder if we're gonna see more like environmental hazards and stuff like that in Haunted Chocolatier. Because there's not a whole lot of that in Stardew. Like those are the only ones I can really even think of that are like environmental hazards like that. Most everything else that can that can hurt you is an actual like physical enemy, right? Legend of Zelda esque dungeon, very true. Ooh, another Phoenix ring. Don't mind if I do. Wear two Phoenix rings. I don't even know if that actually works or not. <laughs> there we go. One last crate for the road. All right. I know when I'm not wanted. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Pretty good run, honestly. We got 22 Cinder Shards out of that run total. Another another good run like that, and then someone will be uh, will have that deluxe retaining soil in no time. Actually, can I check what the deluxe retaining soil recipe requires if I just like talk to this little dancing bro? Let me see, deluxe retaining soil. Oh yeah, that's super easy. Okay, we are fine. Did you miss any goals between Sandy and Deluxe Retaining Soil? Um, we crafted a mayonnaise machine and we shipped large white eggs. Those were the other two goals. But in but that was that was previous stream. In this stream, this is still the first goal that we're working on. Alright. I guess I'll leave my inventory just set up like this. There's no reason to put anything away in a chest for right now, I don't believe. Beautiful. Place your bets now. Will we have enough Cinder Shards? By, I guess, Monday would be, like, the the best sort of deadline to shoot for. Because Monday is when we'll get our new quest at the Walnut Room. So we'll need to be on Ginger Island anyway. Odds are looking good, but I mean... Kind of went this way last time. We were on a Cinder Shard hunt, too. We had, like, a really good first day, and then we just kept getting, like, you know, like, four Cinder Shards per day with uh, with every subsequent run, which was uh, subpar. I have to imagine that was kind of a fluke, though. It, feel, it feels like you're supposed to get more than that on an average volcano run. That said, I do think some of the Cinder Shard... No, some, some of the Cinder Shards you usually get from a volcano run are dropped by monsters. And because we're not killing monsters, we're putting ourselves at a bit of a disadvantage, but it's kind of out of my hands, that one. Oh, I see a button over there. Can you get Cinder Shards from Gold Coconuts? I do not believe so, no. I think the only means of getting Cinder Shards for us right now are mining, um, crates and barrels, and chests. Mostly mining. I should have brought some bombs, actually, to make some of these mining escapades a little bit faster, but it's all good. It also, it's good to have, you know, some precision mining so that I can control my experience gain just a little bit better. I think I saw, like, a button or something over there, didn't I? I thought I saw something. Oh, maybe I saw, like, a crate. Yeah, there's a crate over there. Okay. Sneak on by. Don't mind me, just creating a little little bridge across Molten Magma. Ooh, Curiosity Lure. Maybe that'll come in handy eventually. I, there's, I mean, there's definitely still plenty of fish to catch, so... I believe at least a few of them could be... Could be persuaded by that. Excuse me, sir. The fact that I cannot kill you is... Making me so sad right now. So sad. Curiosity lured you to the crate, apparently. Okay, I'm just going on a scavenger hunt here. If We got the time now, because we got here early in the day, so we can actually 
take our time on these floors a bit more than we could yes yesterday. To what end remains to be seen. Right now, it's just kind of causing me to die. <laughs> a, a slow and painful and burning death. I do have a phoenix ring, so we're not completely... Like, if I if I accidentally miss the chance to eat, then we're, we're not completely messed up here. Do not die. I'm wor- I just- I got plenty of bananas. Don't you worry about me. Don't you worry your pretty little head off. That sounded condescending, I'm sorry. It's the clothes. It's the clothes that are getting to me. These clothes make me- make me feel, like, so much more confident, almost to the level of being, like, cocky, you know? How do I know you're pretty? Because everyone's pretty. Everyone is pretty until proven otherwise. And contrary to popular belief, prettiness is not a state of physical beauty. It is... it is an amalgamation of factors. It was a little too early on that banana, to be honest with you, but... It's okay. I'm just trying to snake around the side here. I, I do have limited water, so we gotta be aware of that, but I just want to avoid breaking rocks where possible. Free pineapple seed, not bad. Okay. Show me, like, a single Cinder Shard node, please. It's- I feel like I'm just in a Cinder Shard- in a Cinder Shard drought right now. Which makes sense. They are hot. They would cause a drought, but, like, come on now. Island Warp Totem is fine. It's good to have, at the very least. Um, get your bananas ready. Bro, this music is making it feel like a comedy of errors in here. <laughs> I do see the Cinder Shard nodes over here. That's good. That's good. A proper vein, even. Lovely, lovely. Up to 30 Cinder Shards. Get me out of this floor. There are too many of these guys chasing me. I gotta cut my losses. Okay. Nice open space to start with here. You'd love to see that. You always organize your hotbar. Pickaxe, weapon, health, food. I try to organize my 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 space my uh my my like item bar in a specific way most of the time, but then I forget like what that way is, and I get confused. I think it's usually pretty consistent though. There we go. Give me a banana here for the road. Gonna see if there's any other nodes up this way. No such luck. Yesterday, Blade posted a he posted a little short on his uh, on his YouTube about like how crates and barrels and stuff, how the spawning logic works in the mines. I wonder if uh, if there's like a different set of logic for how they spawn in the volcano. I wonder if he's gonna go into that because I'd be I'd be very interested to learn. It kind of feels like they like they generate in the same way, just as, like, you know... That's just, like, my gut feeling, based on, like, my experience with the game and, and how I feel, like, where they generate, with, with some notable exceptions. Like, if there are, like, certain structures in the volcano, then they'll generate in those structures in, like, in certain places and, like, nooks and corners and things. There's obviously a little bit of a sort of special case there, but in general, I wonder how similar or dissimilar it may be. Plus, the volcano floors are, like, seeded. They're based on a seed and based on, like, the day that you're playing on, so... Maybe they're, maybe it's just, like, an entirely different method that they use to spawn them. I don't know. But then Pickle Jar Rag started playing, and I was, like, head empty, vibe out. It's amazing how fast that, that switch can flick. 
Going through the volcano mines Looking for cinder shards to add to my pile I'm gonna need them to craft this retaining soil It's gonna be so fun when I can Cause then I can go kick, click the button again I, I messed it up, I messed it up But it was going so well It was going so well for so long there Alright, we need, we, we need to find a button here Need to find a button have a good one there, Ember Firebender. Okay, let me get to this. Not what I was hoping for, but thank you for your service anyway. Drink another coffee here. Button is to the left. Did you see it, or are you just making a conjecture based on the fact that we haven't seen it to the right? It's not on this island, but I will go for that, uh, that crate here. No, not again. <laughs> Okay, to the left. To the left, to the left. There's a button there on an island to the left. I also see a cinder shard node, so that's pretty nice. There's the button. Okay. Excuse you. You hate the button floors? I kind of like them in a weird way. If they come along at the exact wrong moments, they can be very frustrating, but in general, just adding a little bit of a puzzle element to it is, uh, is quite nice. I'm also going to say, going back to the idea of the, of the 1 HP challenge that I was talking about earlier, this might be... This might be a misjudgment on my part. I think I have more of a chance of getting through the entire 120 floors of the Dangerous Mines on 1 HP than I do of getting through just the 10 floors of the Volcano Mines on 1 HP. I feel like this would be so much harder to do. <laughs> I don't know if that's just if that's just me, but it definitely feels like so much more impl implausible. Solely based on like the enemies and stuff and the layouts that you get. Ooh, a little protection ring. I'll add it to my collection. My protection collection, if you will. Yeah, both are very difficult. It's hard to say which would be more difficult in, in concept, but but the fact that, like, just 10 floors of the volcano could even, like, compare to the, like, 120 floors there is kind of mind-boggling. Flying lava things are impossible to avoid. You think if you use like hammer special attacks, or you can like block them like that. There's 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 ways to circumvent them, but if you get like enough of them swarming on you, then you're you're in for a bad time. Uh oh, buffering. Uh oh, the TV is buffering. Have we found a hot java ring yet? We have not found a hot java ring. That's one of those rings I chronically forget exists in this game. Because I don't think I've ever gotten one. <laughs> like, literally never. Given the amount of times I've been through the volcano, you would think that I would have found at least one. But, but no dice so far. Excuse you. Oh, jeez. Okay, I gotta go around, press the button, then come back for this. To get the chest that's up there. Show me cinder shards. No, that's not a cinder shard. That's sadness. Okay. There we go. Ooh, it's a legendary chest and everything. Get me over there yesterday. You never use the hot java ring? You don't get the point of it? You can get, like, a pr like if you go fighting a lot of monsters, you can get a lot of coffee from monsters via... Um, by the hot java ring. It, like, the drop rate on it is pretty significant. Another phoenix ring. <laughs> you almost never drink coffee in the game. If you don't, if you don't need the coffee, that's fair. You can sell the coffee for a decent amount, though. You can also cook the coffee into triple shot espresso. But if you're not drinking coffee, you're not probably probably not drinking that either, which is fair.
the one core memory I have with the hot Java ring, the thing that always comes to mind, is um, when I was in Blade stream months ago, when he was he was working on the uh, the video he did where he was getting level one, level ten, level zero to ten combat all in one day, and he did like the thing that he did at the um, at like the witch's swamp where he like. You know, sacrificed a bunch of a bunch of children, turned them into doves, and spawned a bunch of like creepy dolls to fight to get to get a bunch of experience all at once. If you've seen the video, you know. If not, then I'm probably talking nonsense to you right now. But I was in that stream, and I was like, "What if you put on the hot Java ring, and then and then fought all of them?" Do like I was curious if those like dolls would drop coffee, and he tried it out, and they do in fact drop coffee, which is. It was it was absolutely <laughs> one of the most hilarious things to see. There's like thousands of cups of coffee spawning from from killing like these like this massive swarm of uh <laughs> of flying dolls. He was literally making like millions of dollars in coffee as as he was as he was killing them. It was it was a wild it was a wild ride for sure. All right, I'm going to put away some of these like non-stackable things in here infinite money machine technically i mean not infinite but you can make a lot of money that way it's it just requires like an extremely long setup period because to do because to, to get that many like cursed dolls to attack you in the witch's swamp without you know cheating is going to take many many years in game possibly out of game <laughs> it is a good money making method if you can set it up but there, there's, there's definitely better money-making methods than that that will take, like, a lot less time. But if you can get it set up, then I feel like it probably would be one of the best money-makers in the game. 50 wood for the road, don't mind if I do. But are they more fun? That's up to personal interpretation. There's a reason Blade cheated, yeah. Like, I don't even know, like, how many cursed dolls you could, like, reasonably get within, like, say, 10 in-game years. Not very many, I don't think. Nowhere near, like, the... I think he had... He needed, like... Or he had, like, 600 plus or something at, at the end of it all when he was, like, doing his experimenting. I don't remember how many he needed specifically for, like, the, the actual task of the video. But yeah, because like in order to get one, you have to have a child and then sacrifice that child to at, at the witch's swamp, turn it into a dove. And the process of actually, you know, like waiting for your spouse to be like, hey, do you want to try for, for a baby? And then you have to wait for the baby either to be born or for the adoption to go through. And it's, it's just a whole big rigmarole for even one child let alone, like, hundreds, so. <laughs> Technically possible, yes. Practical? Mm, depends on you, the, your level of patience. Oh, Kermit, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm very, very sorry for you, for, for your loss there. There's, no, there's nothing I can, I can say or do that'll... that'll make that any better for you, I'm sure, but know that you're amongst uh, a good good company here, you're amongst good friends, so take good care of yourself. Holy mo- I don't think I've ever seen two ch have I ever seen two chests on the same floor? Seems like, that seems quite rare. Like, it's rare to even find, like, one chest on the, uh, on a volcano floor, let alone, let alone two here. Ooh, cinder shards out of it as well. I'll take it. Died at 84. Very sorry to hear that, Kermit. It's just, yeah. Ugh, it's the reality of life, unfortunately. Not something anyone ever wants to have to face. And it's never gonna- never- never any easier. But you'll get through this. 
You'll get through it one day at a time. One day, one, just take it one moment to the next, because that's, that's all you can do. We are closing in on, on 50 Cinder Shards here. Only, only on level 3 today, actually, so we might actually, if depending on our Cinder Shard node luck, we could make this happen today if, we're, if we are so lucky. That's not what luck looks like, though. You son of a gun. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> These crates are not, uh, are not being my friends right now. Yeah, that's one button. I don't mind a button floor if they if they just give me like a free button at the start like that, you know. Even if it's not the only button, it at least lets me know it's like, hey, this is a button floor. Honestly, I feel like the um. Ooh, that's nice. I feel like button floors would be significantly better in this game. Oh my gosh, that's really good. <laughs> not only did I get multiple chests on this run. I got multiple cinder shard chests. That's rare. I feel like button floors would be a lot better in the volcano here. If, like, at the very start of a button floor, there was just, like, a sign or some indicator whatsoever that it was a button floor. You know what I mean? Instead of just being, like, charging through all the monsters and hazards and everything, getting to the end and seeing that gate and just feeling your soul leave your body. It's a terrible feeling. The chests have been very kind today. Still no hot java ring, but I'm not going to look a, a gift chest in the mouth. First button achieved. Pretty much just looking for, like, one more Cinder Shard. Is this the Concerned Ape Floor? Oh, you're so right. It is the Concerned Ape Floor. It's the one that looks like his face. Yo, I feel like it's been so long since we've seen this one. <laughs> there's there's our Cinder Shard node. Okay. Give it to me. Okay, I was, I was worried. It looked for a second like it was only one Cinder Shard that dropped from that node. I was I was mildly concerned and, and reasonably upset. But it was two. They were they just happened to be overlapped in a certain way. His avatar's face, hopefully. Yeah, I mean it doesn't look like actually like, you know, Eric Baroni's face. He's a he's a handsome individual. He does not does not quite look like his avatar. <laughs> At least not from the pictures I've seen. I've never seen him in person, but you know, if pictures are to be believed. Final Cinder Shards are our gift from Concerned Ape. It was meant to be. Let's go ahead and finish off our volcano run here, just because, I mean, we're already here. We might as well see it through. We could go back to floor five and just hop on out of here, but no need. Imagine if that was if that was his actual face, though. Imagine he's at he goes to like the like the he shows up at the Stardew Valley concert, one of the Stardew Valley concerts, and it's the last thing. Like the concert is all gone great. It's been a, a standing ovation after standing ovation. He gets up on stage at the very end. He's like, "Thank you all for for joining us for this lovely orchestral performance." And then he just removes his face as though it's a, as though it's a mask and it's his avatar underneath. He was the true concerned ape all along. Plot twist of the century. What am I trying to do here? Do I want... I do kind of want these tarot tubers. I'm not going to lie. I'm just trying to think of what to get rid of. I guess I would probably get rid of... Honestly, this protection ring. <laughs> I don't really need it. I already, I already have multiple copies. And I've got one baked into a ring that I'm already wearing. Is there another chest over there? There is another chest over there. Don't mind if I do. 
Don't have enough diamonds. That's a valid point. I should have probably just gotten rid of the diamond. Look, it's my my brain can't help it. I see a diamond and I'm like, that's valuable. No matter you know, no matter the facts that I might. Oh, there's another protection ring. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll correct my mistake. If you're gonna be if you're gonna be like that about a game, jeez, Louise. I do have thousands of diamonds, like literal thousands of diamonds back home, so. But I'll, yeah, I'll never not get excited about diamonds. It's just something hardwired into my cerebrum. Have a good one there, Mika. Thank you for hanging out for a little bit. Take good care. No, thank you. Stock up on a few more cinder shards. I don't know what we specifically still need cinder shards for. As far as, like, actual, like, things for our goals here. It might only be, like, we might, at this point, we might only need cinder shards for, um, for, like, enchantments or something. Did I, did I just dream that? Or did that happen? Because in my, in my brain, I heard the critical hit sound that I, I, I saw myself do a crit on that magma sprite and I did one damage <laughs> I swung I hit the monster I did a crit for one damage I <laughs> it was definitely the crit sound unless it was like an anti crit but I, I'm pretty positive I only did one damage unless I misread it I was that was very confusing thank goodness it was one damage I mean, I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad I didn't accidentally, like, one-shot that guy and get untoward combat experience or something, but it was just, I was just very confused. Okay, get me, get me, get me out of here, honestly, this floor is, is a nightmare. It was one damage, it was truly a one damage crit. Man. The, crit the critical economy in this game is in is in shambles these days. We have to work th we have to work that hard just to do a mere one damage. What kind of life are we living here? Ooh, legendary chest, a very easily accessed legendary chest as well. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, dragon tooth cutlass. I love that little thing. This time, I will get rid of the protection ring. Look at this bad boy. This blade was forged from a magical tooth. I love that. That is a nice-looking sword right there. Plus 50 crit power. It was only a matter of time. I, fe I feel like every legendary chest we've come across recently has just been, like, a ring we already have or just something equally disappointing. So to actually get something new for the first time is it's a breath of fresh air. We don't need it that badly, it's, it, that's true. We technically could, like, make the, like, we could put the stats of the Dragon Tooth Cutlass into the homie sword. But I do like the defense of the homie, of the homie sword. It's got defense, it's got defense and speed versus the crit power and, like, the heightened damage. I still think I like the stats of this better, just for my own personal playstyle. But in theory, we could do something like... Could, could do a little something like this and swap it around. I'm not going to sacrifice 10 cinder shards for that, obviously. That would be that would be just a tragedy. But it is an option. Is there anything new left? As far as goals go, or as far as, far as chests go? As far as chests go, we, we still don't have the hot java ring that we were talking about earlier. That's still That's still available to be had. One of these days. All right. Um, I was I was thinking I have to clear inventory space, but no, I don't think a crafting recipe takes up that much inventory space. Color me crazy. All right, deluxe retaining soil. That's the hardest part right there. Now we should be able to just like head straight home and uh, and make that, and it'll be just that easy. Now it's basically just like any other crafting goal. Not too shabby. 
Have a good one there, Ultimate Rat. Is there anything else I need to bring home with me here? I think I might leave... I'll leave the Dragon Tooth Cutlass on the island for now. I think I'll bring everything else home with me. I can stack that. I can bring in bring this as well. Bring these. Stack these. Just seeing what I might, you know, might make some use out of. That's probably fine. You bananas to top me up, and away I go. Next goal, cook banana pudding. That would be... That, that would be fitting. <laughs> Just knock out all the island trader requirements right off the bat here. How's the fam doing here? Maru, is Maru not even home right now? No, she's just hiding in the kitchen. Not really hiding, I just couldn't see her. It was because it's dark. I can't decide if I'm craving chocolate cake or ripe strawberries. It's a good thing they go well together. You are not gaining weight, you are perfect the way you are. Even if you were gaining weight, you're still perfect, so... As long as you feel good about yourself, that's the that's that's the main thing that counts there. Curiosity lure. I should have brought back the curiosity lure, to be honest with you. Maru deserves a kitchen light. We probably should get some light going in the kitchen. It's not until you're in the house at night that you realize, you know, just just how abysmal our lighting situation is. Speaking of, I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself a glowstone ring and a lucky ring. Just just swap them out, because I always forget to swap out my volcano rings. Happy birthday, Abigail. Pretty sure. Alright, this chest is looking mighty full. That or that organizational stream for the for the randomizer is starting to get more and more tempting the more I like look at these chests. <laughs> Do like a little organization, a little makeover of the farm. There's definitely some, definitely some optimization to be had as far as inventory space goes here. Maybe once we get our second backpack upgrade, we can start doing a little more like inventory, like like manage these chests and move things around on the farm and just, just spiff it all up a little bit, you know? Magma caps can go in there. Because right now I'm just I'm wandering between like so many different chests and, and fridges and and who's it's and what's it's. Gordon check. That's a good thought. We have with our speed grow, with our speed grow, our pumpkins should be more than ready. So let's you know before. Well, yeah, no. Well, I mean I'm already on my way here. Let's go have a look here. Giant pumpkin. Gordon, have you graced us? Gordon, double Gordon. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh, we got so much more than we bargained for! There's two of them! We thought we had to choose between Gordon and and Pumpkin. We can have both! <laughs> Gordon and Pumpkin. Do now the question is, do we leave these? Do do we leave do we like let the Junimos harvest now so that we just have the two? Or do we just let it keep going and just get a whole just get a whole field of giant pumpkins as many as we can. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at these. All right, I apologize, bat friend. Get out of here. Is he Kenuff? <laughs> That's huge. All it just all it took was a little bit of elbow grease to finally remove those uh those logs. Double pumpkins. Gordon is exactly where you hoped he'd end up. There's a chance to, for another giant pumpkin to spawn right there. I'm just gonna leave them and see what the game decides to grant us. Whether we get, you know, a, a vast arsenal of giant pumpkins and we'll have to, we'll have to, you know, survivor style eliminate them one by one until we find the true Gordon. Remains to be seen, but for now I'm, I'm just excited to see that the triad is officially complete. To celebrate... Where do I put bat wings? Where the heck... Are they? Maybe they go over here. <laughs> nope. Alright, bat wings. Maybe I just don't have any Don't have any bat wings currently. Oh, they just go right there. Alright, fine. 
We need some fiber, we need some stone, and we need some clay in order to finally, after all this time, complete our goal. Boom. One deluxe retaining soil made to order. Look at that. Add it to my other 187. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Goal complete. There we go. First goal of the stream only took us an hour. Which might sound like a lot, but honestly that was a goal that required a lot more than, than the usual goals do. Alright. Well, no need to sleep just yet. We still we still got a couple hours left in the day. Maybe maybe we can complete yet another goal. Let's go find out, shall we? Time for the giant crop Junimo hut mod. I think we might have officially unlocked it. Alright, grab let me get over to the randomizer screen here. The night's still young, absolutely. How did an hour pass by already? I mean, it's it's been an hour according to my like stream timer, which includes all like the banter and dailies and stuff at the start. So in game, we haven't been going for a full hour just yet. Have a good day there, Kermit. Take good care of yourself. All right. Craft deluxe retaining soil. Boom. Done. Dusted. Easy. 306. 54.3. Definitely going to hit 55% today. No doubt in my mind about that. Will we make it all the way to 60%? That's up to you, randomizer. I'm talking to you directly right now. Pay no mind to the chat on the side. Pay no mind to them. It's just you and me. It's just you and me. Let's connect on a deep, personal level. We understand each other right now, right? We understand... Hitting 60%, it's a long shot, but I believe in you. I believe that you have the showmanship and potential to make this a beautiful dynamite stream. Let's do this. Generate a goal, you and me. Craft a preserves jar. That's a phenomenal start. <laughs> that is a beautiful start. Ooh, baby. Our preserves jar empire can officially begin. That's one of like the big crafting machines. Preserves jars and kegs and stuff. Oh my goodness. Probably won't actually make use of it that, that much, given that we have like 20 million dollars in pocket. We don't really need any more money, but <laughs> but in principle, in principle, this is very, very fulfilling. I love that. Finally becoming a normal farmer. Finally, I can make strawberry jam just like my cohorts. Preserves jar. Beautiful. We can definitely craft that. No doubt in my mind we already have the materials to craft that. It's just like wood and like coal or something, isn't it? I remember there's coal in the recipe, but I don't remember the specifics beyond that. Um, preserves jar. Wood, stone, and coal. Alright. Just doubled the number of preserves jars. It's true, honestly. Um, wood and stone. And a little bit of coal as well. Yeah, I think we have a little bit of coal. We could make, we could make 19 preserves jars if we want to with our current, uh, our current supplies. I think that's a little bit overkill. Let's just make one more. Just one preserves jar. My own homemade preserves jar. Finally, I don't have to rely on the hand-me-downs from the Junimos at the community center. <laughs> huge. That is huge. For anyone that knows how preserves jars work IRL, why coal? It's a good question, honestly. I don't know if the coal is, like, because there's, like, a heat element to a preserves jar that causes, like, things to be preserved. But... That's a, that's, that's a question for a... For not me. <laughs> Where the heck do I put a second preserves jar? I don't even know. Like, I've, I've grown so accustomed to this, like, lineup of machines here. I don't know. Maybe we can decorate the basement a little bit more. Make the basement a nice... Give it a, a little bit more of a factory-esque vibe. Start lining up machines along the walls here as well. I think I can get behind that. In the kitchen for Maru. 
The kitchen's already a little bit cramped. I could I could theoretically put it up over there or something like that, but I kind of like the I kind of like the vibe we got going on in the basement. Even though we don't really visit the basement all that much, it's like a place that I like would visit. It's almost it's almost like a weird like lounge esque energy. Kind of love it. All right. More goals like that, please. More goals like that. That was a that was a phenomenal start to our to our absolute gravy train of goals here, as I'm gonna call it. Finish it up. Beautiful. 54.4%. Keep on going. Don't slow down now. Ship a duck feather. What a great way to cap off the day. <laughs> Dubnium. Dubnium check. Duck feather. Only the best duck feathers from Fractured Farm. You know it to be true. Duck mayo when? We're closing in. We're closing in. We got the mayonnaise machine. We've shipped the duck egg. We've shipped the duck feather. They're dancing around it. Duck mayo. We could make some duck ma Now that I'm thinking about it, now that we have a mayonnaise machine, we can make duck mayonnaise, and we can use it to get the, um, what is it, the pinky lemon statue? Have we, have we gotten the, like, special statues yet? We need a super cucumber... We need duck mayonnaise, and we need a strange bun. I don't know if we've gotten any of them yet. We have, we have like, options for them. Like, we have super cucumbers. We have access to duck mayo now. And we can theoretically get strange buns. We can't cook them ourselves yet, though, can we? Strange bun. We, I don't think we've made any strange buns just yet. Yeah, no strange bun up there. Okay, yeah, we haven't made that yet. But we can technically get them from, like, Krobus or something. Maybe we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait until we can get all three of them, and then we'll just go and uh, assemble the family. For now, though, let's go grab a duck feather or two. We should have one hanging out in a chest right about there. I'll ship... Do I dare? Sh I'm going to ship 44 iridium quality duck feathers. Let's just go all out on this one. We've got plenty back in the coops as well, so it's fine. Boom. Done. Don't mind if I do. Check the gaming room. Oh, I, you're right. I do have Humpty Goof. I forgot that I got Humpty Goof. Uh, maybe we should go get Pinky Lemon, then. I don't know if I have a duck egg handy here. I probably do not. Also, I should swap out my, my inventory now that I'm done, done at the volcano for the next little while. Let's go ahead and pop these away. Grab all my all the usual suspects here. I think it goes something like that. Grab one tomorrow, then? Why not tonight? We still got time. It's, it's only 12.30. I, can, I got speed. I got crab cakes on my side. Let me go grab a little duck egg here. Dubnium. We gotta grab one from you. Only the finest will do. I will take one of your silver quality eggs. And turn it into some duck mayonnaise. Argon leaving the house at 12.30 a.m. Look, I'm evolving. <laughs> I'm growing as a player. You mean feather? I've already shipped the feathers. This is this is a personal conquest of mine. There we go. Silver quality egg is literally not the finest. Yeah, but Dubnium silver quality eggs are equivalent to like your ducks. Iridium quality eggs. You just wouldn't understand. Dubnium's just built different. Beauty. Not a bad, not a bad little haul from just a, a modest stack of duck feathers there. There we go. Orion, Andy, y'all doing well? Is, An is Andromeda still, still a little too, 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 too wide for her name here? Eventually, once she, once she goes full toddler mode, gets access to her own little hat, then, uh, then we'll be in business there. 
Andromeda playing with Maru's stuff again. She does like playing over in Maru's room. I've noticed that as well. It's a rich yellow mayonnaise. Orion likes to, like running up and down the stairs a whole lot. Especially down into like the gaming room and stuff. And Andromeda is uh <laughs> Andromeda just kinda hangs out in this vicinity. She's gonna be a scientist one day, you can tell. Alright. We can go pick up Pinky Lemon later today, but for now, I'm feeling a new goal. How about you? Oops, that's the wrong key there. There we go. Do they make duck mayonnaise in real life, by the way? Apropos of nothing at all? <laughs> Finish this goal. There we go. 54.6%. 308 goals. Send it. Give me 309. Show it to me. Ship an ancient fruit. I forgot ancient fruit existed in this game, bro. <laughs> I should still have quite a few of those just to, like kicking around somewhere in one of my chests, I'm pretty sure. We were turning them into like uh into like ancient fruit jelly and wine and stuff a long time ago, but we stopped that we stopped that train many years ago. So these are truly gonna be ancient fruit that we're dealing with. Ancient fruit. Perfect, perfect. Imagine we accidentally converted them all on accident. I'm gonna really hope not. I'm gonna real I'm pretty positive. I'm like 99% sure that we have ancient fruit literally in this chest right here. I have 10 silver quality ancient fruit. I'm I'm sure I have more than that, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> but that's 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 plenty. That's fine. That's all that's all we're all good there. We are all good there. I'm gonna ship five of them. We got it. Just hold on to some of them for posterity's sake here. Easy peasy. How you doing, honey? Ancient fruits look like they have the texture and structure of bell peppers. They do. They do have that, like, nice shine to them. They're a lot more leafy on top than a bell pepper would be, though. Bell pepper just kind of has, like, a stem. If that's all we had, <laughs> if we did, definitely, yeah, then it's good that we saved some of them, right? Yo, thank you, Mara. I appreciate that. Well, speaking of feeding the animals, I, I have been missing a few heydays here from being away at the uh, volcano, so make sure we top that up. Um, this duck mayonnaise. I, I would have to wait until noon to get into the saloon in order to actually use this duck mayonnaise for the strange statue. So I think we just go ahead and sleep and we'll wait for a goal that we're going to be out and about anyway. And then we can go ahead and do that. For now, another one down. And another one down and another one down. Another goal bites the dust. Easy. Easy. We are closing in on the Stardew Valley Fair. If the randomizer happens to be listening right now, this would be a great time. We haven't had a star drop goal in a while, and there's a star drop right around the corner that would be extremely awkward and annoying to have to, like, sleep a whole year to get back to it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, these things... These things matter. <laughs> I know how much how much fun we have with prime sleeping content around here. We're no strangers to having to sleep for hours on end. But you know, I'd rather not have to if I don't. If I don't have to. Alright, finish it up. Now we're gonna get a different star drop for sure. It would have been a great moment. <laughs> I'll ship a mango instead, I guess. We got a few mangoes kicking around for sure. Champion hibernators. Olympic level sleep athletes. No doubt about that. Alright, mango. The goal will show up on winter first. Hey, te technically that would be better than, you know, like, fall 17th or something. Randomizer wants us to do some spring cleaning. It's true. It's giving us, like, a lot of goals of, like, Things that have just been stockpiling in our chests over the years. Happy birthday, Sandy. 
I could actually go give her a birthday present this year if I wanted to. But I don't want a chance, you know, Emily coming to the desert and trouncing our, our lovely wood chippers again. Have I figured out what I'm going to use for the Grange display tomorrow? I'm working on it. Don't you worry about that. I have seven Iridium quality mangoes here. I need some mangoes for mango sticky rice. Well, I need like one mango for mango sticky rice, but I'm, I'm going to hold on to like a few. Just to be on the safe side. Because you never know what kind of shenanigans I'm going to get up to in, <laughs> in this challenge. Even I can't predict it. They are literally right next to the ancient fruit. They're, they're literally side by side. It's just going in order. Ship a Chanterelle next. Actually, I think we've already done that, haven't we? Yep. All right. Maybe we go backwards then. Ship an eggplant. Nope, been there. Where are you going to go from here, randomizer? You're trapped. You're cornered. Go to sleep for the night. I think we're good, right? Am I going to let chat pick my items for the Grange display again this year? Depends. Are we, are we going to the, uh... Are we going to be going to the festival this year or not? Remains to be seen. That's a, I'm, I'm leaving it up to the randomizer here. If the randomizer wants me to go to the festival this year and actually do the Grange display and the whole, the whole kit and caboodle, I'll go the full nine yards. I'll... I'll bust out the red carpet i'll put up all the doilies everything i need to to celebrate this occasion if the randomizer should make it so this is your moment randomizer we've been building up to this you know what to do you have the power to make history here i have shipped your mango i have done your dirty work finish that goal 310 come on lucky number 311 we just cracked 55 percent beautiful number Onward to 60% with shipping hardwood. Not what we wanted to see. Decidedly not what we wanted to see, because this means we're going to have to go a day ahead. We're going to miss the Stardew Valley Fair, or at least miss our chance at the, at the star drop there. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can justify going to the fair this year. That just makes me so sad to see it. Randomizer, you had you had such a beautiful chance there. Wasn't meant to be. Just wasn't meant to be. But it's all right. It's all right. I trust that the randomizer know what's best knows what's best for like the overall narrative here. So, if it thinks that now is not the moment, then now is not the moment. Pardon me. Pardon me, Andromeda. Where's your brother? He's, yeah, that's exactly where I thought he would be. He's playing King of the Fish again. Ooh. Speaking of King of the Fish, I'm, we got King of the Bees. Well, Queen Bees, I guess, would be the more appropriate thing to say here. Andromeda, you can be Queen of the Bees. Orion's King of the Fish. Nine honey grange display. Is this is this the world's way of telling me that I should be going to the Stardew Valley Fair after all? Look, she's vibing out, dude. He and he's charging over. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they're dancing. We do have we do have a vast amount of honey. We could make it work. <laughs> Just a bunch of honey for the Grange display. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. Is this is this the right kind? We, let's get some actual good honey here. Wait, that that's normal honey. We don't want wild honey. Do we have actual like good honey? Tulip honey, summer spangle honey, and sunflower honey. Ooh, fairy rose honey. Even actually, wait a minute. Pop that in there. Put some honey on display at the Stardew Valley Fair. Lewis will give us first place if he knows what's good for him. One honey of each flavor. We could do a little bit of every kind of honey, that's true. Let's just grab let's just grab all the different kinds of honey that we happen to have here. Mix it up. We don't we don't know what kind of people what kind of taste people are gonna want here. We got some artisan 
quality honey here. It's going to be a beautiful stand. The bees demanded it so, and the bees, I mean, I'm not one to say no to the bee boss. The bee boss is the only one that has any authority over, like, more, like one level above the randomizer itself. Gordon and Pumpkin still doing just beautiful out here. I was I was coming to see if you had a if you were triplets after all, but not just yet. We still got like half a season to go though, so who knows? I guess we're not going to the fair this year. A swarm of bees knocks on your door. Out of context, a swarm of bees knocks on your door might be one of the most terrifying sentences in the English language. That is, uh, I mean, I love bees. They're very cute. But if a swarm of bees knocked on my door, they made, like, a big cartoony hand out of their out of their swarm ability and just, like, knocked on my door, I think I'd be like, you know, this is where I die. This is, this is just how it ends. All right. Let's build up the most beautiful... B-based display we've ever seen. We have... Oh, I don't need... Okay, wait. Hold on a second. What? What is the difference here? What is... Why is it like that? Wait, I can't tell which one's which. Chad, I can't tell which one's which. Because the descriptions are all the same. Except this one has a larger box for some reason. Okay, we can we can still check here, though. Oh, it's because it's Summer Spangle Honey, and that's so the name. Okay, that makes that makes sense. That makes sense. That's weird that it works that way though, because like Summer Spangle Honey makes the box just like that much wider. Kind of interesting that it works that way. All right, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven varietals of honey, so we're gonna have to double up on on one of them or on two of them. Sorry. Let's go, let's see. We only have one fairy rose honey. I think we put our fairy rose honey. I kind of want to put it like right at the front here where people are most likely to see it front and center like that. Okay. We probably want to put our wild honey towards the back. It's kind of like a lesser quality honey. This is a pretty rare honey. This one's just called honey. So I think we could go ahead. I do have duck mayonnaise as well. I guess I could put that on display instead of instead of like extra honey. We'll go ahead and I think we'll put this one. I kind of want to put this one like right in the middle, actually. Yeah, we have bananas and duck mayonnaise. And we also have hay, technically. Dubnia mayo in the middle. I could respect that. Do like a little we'll do like a little honey container of some of some banana duck mayonnaise. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Alright, we got wild honey, we got honey. Oh, we can see the names actually here. If we like put them in. So let's just go ahead and put in like one of each of the remaining ones. And then we can rearrange them as needed if we like. Tulip honey, summer spangle honey. I actually think that's kind of that's kind of I, I would swap these around, I think. I feel like sunflower honey over blue jazz honey. Wild honey, regular honey. I kinda like that. I'm kinda I'm kinda here for that. Chat, rate my Grange display. Rate my on a scale of zero to one hundred, rate this display, please. Zero being the worst display you've ever seen in your life, 100 being the best. 97, 100, 110, 87, 2,000 star tokens. <laughs> B out of 100. I think this has got to be at least B plus, right? 88, 34, 80, 85. I think we're good. I think we're gonna get at least third place. I don't think we're going to be dead last here, but, but it's, you know, I do, I do like that the, the duck mayonnaise adds, like, the, the blue lid adds, like, a little splash of color. It's quite nice. Lewis, are you a man of acquired tastes? All I'm going to say, sir, is that if you don't give us, I want at least second place. I don't, I don't have any delusions that we're going to get quite to first place, but, Lewis, the bees demand minimum second place if you don't give us second place at least i mean i'm not going to do anything I, I just, i'll just take my licks and go home but you might have some pesky little buzzing friends to answer to later tonight i've got connections 
I can make you. I can, I can make you look like a like a pin cushion with all the the bee stingers I can get in you. You better respect them, Lewis. You better respect them. In my head cannon, we also have like a little boombox on the side playing B underscore boss dot OGG. So if if he doesn't if he doesn't respect my Grange display, he's disrespecting the song entirely. I got third place with a rating of 74. Lewis, you don't know what kind of wrath you just wrought upon yourself. You, you third place for all that artisan and beautiful honey from every flower imaginable? I can't this dude is you got 200 star tokens. I, I'm telling you to take those 200 star tokens just throw them back in your face. That's an insult. That's an insult to my bee empire. And you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm going to take my honey and go the heck home, dude. Get me out of here. Unless. Put it all on orange, baby. The bees love orange over green. So this is this is this is what they demand of me. I am merely a vessel for their wishes. They know what's best. Son of a gun. <laughs> if I had all the honey, I would have won it. It was just pure honey, as far as the eye could see, just an, an ocean of honey. We got pepper poppers is like the the rare special one this year. No need. Rare Crow, don't need any of this stuff. That Star Drop. Ugh. One of these days. One of these days we'll be back for you. But today is not that day, I'm afraid. Go eat a burger with my wife. I guess I should visit Maru, yeah. She's probably up here with Orion, right? Not with Orion? That's a little... That's mildly concerning. Mumph, this is my one chance to pick out on barbecue sandwiches. Yeah, that's great, but where is our... Where are our children? <laughs> Maybe Orion's over at the petting zoo with the other kids. I can understand, you know, Andromeda. She's she's still a little too young to come out here, but like, but Orion, he's he's a toddler. He's not he's not over here with the piggies. Mildly concerned, mildly concerned. Where's Leo actually for that matter? He's not here with Linus, which is like that's where he always is, right? Where is Leo? Because Leo should be at the festival for sure. He's by the clown. Oh, good memory, Lisa. I'm gonna buy the clown down here. I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> I don't know. He's got kind of the same coloration as a lot of your bird friends at home. So maybe maybe that's why he's drawn to it. I don't know. I don't know. Colleen, welcome. We did we did in fact. I mean, you're gonna be so surprised when we go down to the field. Gordon is there, but we got a little extra surprise, too. <laughs> I see you in the saloon, surrounded by friends. It doesn't seem like you have any favorites. You're popular with everyone. We're making such good connections. Beatrix is such a social butterfly. More like a social bee, I guess. Ooh, it's dark, and I see you in a certain young lady. She looks quite hopeful and eager to spend time with you. Hmm, now what's this young lady's name? I believe it starts with an M. Yeah, that's probably my wife, Maru. I've been married to her for over a year. Crystal Ball has moved on. Ah! You're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down you from the dark, but you see more th you seem more than ready to face it. That volcano has hardened me. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Do you think that version 1.6 is going to correct the bug with the the fortune telling here at the at the stardew valley fair because it always says it always gives you that message of something dreadful bearing down upon you from the dark no matter what right like i think it's supposed to give you a special message based on what the uh like what your highest level skill is or something like that but it definitely does not do that so far all right we're on our way If I get back to the house, would the kids be there? I think, I feel like, you know, the bees compelled us to visit the Stardew Valley Fair today, so the bees are probably taking care of the kids. I trust them. All right. Got to put away all this lovely honey. Ooh, sugar. Actually, just like pile all the honey in here, honestly. This is my honey chest now. 
I don't think I had any left over in here, did I? Nope. A babysitter? <laughs> Alright, we gotta ship. We we haven't shipped the hardwood actually actually yet, have we? That's that's a, that's our current goal. I got distracted by by bees and honey and fares, oh my. I will ship one piece of hardwood because it's much more valuable as an actual resource than it is as, as a shipment, so get it done. Good night, Pie. Can I pet you? I, pet I know it's not Pie Day anymore. Orion? What are you doing over here, buddy? Orion is my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> he's just like, he's just tea posing over there. You do you, friend. He's hanging out with his little robot friend. Lock it in. Sleepwalking. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this child sleep, now that I'm thinking about it. Ever since he, like, grew out of his crib, I don't think he's slept a single time in his life. Is it because his bed is taken? No, the beds are empty up here. I don't know if they actually use those beds or not, but the beds are empty. Maybe the beds are blocked? Is that what's, is that what's happening? Can they just not get into the beds? See if I can walk into them? I can walk in from that side. I can walk in from this side. Do I have to be able to walk in from both sides? Is the, are the Junimos uh, blocking them off? But I don't want to move the Junimos. Okay, we can we can make this work. We can make it work. Let's see here. We have to be able to... We can still do... I think we can still do, like, the top part here. The Junimos can still be there. But I want them all together. Put them, put them on the bottom in a line. I think that's a good idea. Is there, like, one, two, three, four? Can I, like, make them... If I space them out a little bit? They're just hiding, dude. This is like, you could play, like, Whack-A-Junimo. Like, instead of Whack-A-Mole, they just, like... I imagine they're just, like, popping up and you just, like, chase after them. New mini game unlocked at the foot of their beds. Then I wouldn't be able to like get through here. I don't think I'd have to move some some other stuff around. I kind of love that honestly. They're a little sneaky down there. All right, I can get behind that. Little apples, yeah, they're like little apples that fell out of the trees. It's telling a story. Go to jail for that? No hitting Junimos. Look, it's a game, but the Junimos, they would always win. I would never be able to actually hit the Junimos. They're too they're too cute. So even if I managed to reach one in time, um <laughs> I found this in my scrap file. I think you could find a use for it. I just did not expect to talk to you and suddenly be holding a bomb. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Careful where you click with this. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm used to her giving me bombs, but like me just like holding a bomb after talking to her wasn't was next level. <laughs> Jeez, Louise! All right, I appreciate it, Mara. I appreciate the gift. It's a lovely sentiment. I don't think I wrote down on my list here our, our current goal was ship hardwood, hardwood, done and dusted, as the cool kids say. All right. Hardwood successfully shipped. Boom. Beautiful. 55.1% in climbing. Let's just keep it going. The goal, the goals have been treating us pretty well so far. I don't see a reason that should stop now. Gain a combat level. That's pretty good, actually. That's That shouldn't take any time at all. And it'll leave us, you know, open leeway for more combat-based activities. Well, technically, no, because I'm probably going to want to leave most of my combat experience for a potential, like, monster eradication goal. But this should not take that long at all. We are very, very close to our next combat level already after, like, I think we killed 500 dust sprites and that's how we got here. The crystal ball never lies. True. I got on this case for being bugged and it's like, uh, well, looks going to be like, I'm going to show you a bug. All right, I did ship hardwood, didn't I? I didn't, like, dream that. Yeah, we shipped hardwood. We're good. All right. Let me go grab my homie blade. There it is. Perfect. Homie's sword. 
I'm gonna put away this bomb, actually. I don't trust myself with that right now. Okay. We currently need 150. Oh, I should I should unpin the goal. You're right. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate the heads up. Uh, we need 150 combat experience. Not the infinity dagger. Actually, good point. Yeah, we haven't used the infinity dagger yet. Maybe that maybe now's a good time to like put it through its uh through its paces. We worked hard to get that thing, so should definitely put it to good use. Question is, what do we kill? What do we want to kill with this 150 experience point leeway? Is there anything that would really benefit us, or should we just go for something that has like, you know, a lot of uh Oh, I thought my dagger was here for some reason. Yeah, something that is there something that has good loot, or is there something that we or is there should we just go for like the max experience gain from it? Volcano mobs in hopes of shards. That could be good. Yeah, we could go and kill some volcano monsters, but I'm kinda I'm kinda over the volcano right now. Alright, Dying Tooth Shiv, where did I put this? It's over here or something, maybe? Yeah, okay, there we go. Infinity dagger. Infinity dagger. We gotta turn it to like look like the homie dagger at some point. Magma sparks for more cinder shards. It probably is the right play, honestly. Yeah. Squid kids for squid ink. That's also possible. But squid kids don't give that much combat experience, do they? On special slimes in the dangerous mines. Oh, we haven't actually... You know what I should go do is check... I'm, if, I mean, maybe this is a sign to go to Ginger Island anyway. We didn't check our chi quest for the week. We weren't there on Monday, so let's go... Uh, let's go have a look at that at the very least, and then we will go from there. Hello, Iota. I, I forgot that I left you, like, right at the door. Kind of jump scared me, I'm not going to lie to you. Hey, speaking of cinder shards... Not that I can really take them, because my fishing experience is so scuffed right now. Oh, Tiger Slimes. Tiger Slimes for the Tiger Hat potential. It's a bit of a long shot, but if it did happen, it would be pretty beautiful. I like where your head's at, early gamer. Infinity Dagger. It's such a beautiful dagger. Let's go take it for a spin, shall we? All right. I did not bring any buff food, and I also realized now I totally forgot to switch switch my rings around. That's okay. I didn't. Yeah, you know we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Who really needs those rings? Those rings were really just for like peace of mind anyway. They didn't really actually do that much. <laughs> Technically, I have a. I actually have phoenix rings and stuff on the island anyway, just like spares from when I was going through the volcano before. So. Yeah, I'm pretty co close to combat level anyway, so we shouldn't have to be here long, regardless. Give 50 loved gifts in one week, or danger in the deep again. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm spoiled for choice here, huh? Alright, 50 loved gifts in five days, or danger in the deep. We should mix it up a little bit. Cheese kindness. I'm here for that. We've, we've done plenty of danger in the deep already. It does kind of beckon me with its potential for, for combat gains, but... Why bother the danger in the deep when you can just do like this? It's just easy. This is going to be like so easy. Excuse you, sir. Please die. I should, I should, I should buff this dagger with like higher like crit chance or something. As it is, it's, it's doing pretty well. Even without that, but could you imagine if we were just getting crits after crits after crits? Oh, baby. Plant a, can I plant a mahogany tree here? Sure, why not? We have a soft soft swap for cheese kindness because it's 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 fun and it helps with perfection. I agree, honestly. I think cheese. I think cheese kindness is a good uh, is a good little quest to do. 
It's not going to help us with perfection because we are... We're not able to give gifts to people that we don't already have, like, max friendship with, basically, but it's still fun. It's still fun in principle. You would give gifts to people before the quest? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you could kind of, like, like, mess yourself up on that quest. If you, actually, if you, like, gave a bunch of gifts beforehand in the week, then you just, like, wouldn't be able to take it. Well, I guess if, I mean, if you get the quest, like, as early as possible on Monday, the odds of that happening are lower. You, you could have given gifts on Sunday. Alright. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kill more tiger slimes. Pay no mind to the little Bowser heads. They do not concern me. Excuse me, sir. Here we go. Are we one slime away? We are one slime away. I knew this would go fast, but that's crazy. All right, perfect. <laughs> Done. I'm out of here. Didn't even have to, like, step foot in the actual volcano, like, proper. Perfect, perfect. Oh, you meant, like, back in your day, before Ginger Island existed, you would give gifts just because you liked to? I would also do that, honestly. My, like, first, like, playthrough of, uh, of Stardew Valley before I was streaming or worrying about any challenge runs or anything, I was, I was a, a gift-giving machine. How you doing, Haley? Such a perfect beach, I'd stay here forever if I could. What's stopping you? What's stopping you? Responsibilities? Pshaw. Wonder how far I could swim out and still make it back? <laughs> you probably don't want to test that, to be honest with you. Looks like there's some unique fish swimming around. Next time I'll have to bring my pole. You could probably catch a lion fish. They're pretty tame. You believe this place is teeming with exotic life. Sisters are on vacation. That is cute. I do like that. Sisters plus Alex, Pam, and Demetrius. What a motley crew. Alright, we're good to bring stuff back home now, I believe. Anything else I need to do? Not really. Oh, and it's late enough in the day I can actually go make use of my duck mayonnaise like I wanted to. Let's go make some magic happen, shall we? Get my favorite of the three secret statues. I'm not alone in that, right? We can we're all in agreement here. Of the three secret statues, you know, Farogamon, Humptagoof, and, uh, and Pinky Lemon. That Pinky Lemon is the decided victor. Pinky Lemon is the best. You're more of a Farogamon man yourself. I can understand love for all three of them, but, like, Pinky Lemon just has a special place in my heart. I don't know why, just the way, he, like, his... Just the way he looks at you. There's something about his eyes. All are ugly, but Pinky Lemon is the least visually offensive. I mean, speak for yourself, Xavier. This is a... This is a beautiful creature. They're all... They're all beautiful in my mind. Look at that. Pinky Lemon acquired. Exclamation point, exclamation... Or question mark, question mark, Pinky Lemon, question mark, question mark. Look at that. Pinky Lemon. Where am I going to put this lad? <laughs> He's so cute. He gives, like, heavy earthbound energy. Why is it flesh-colored? I think that's just his flesh. <laughs> the flesh with the pink mustache. A little heart draping from the top of his, like, Homer Simpson hair. The striped socks, it's so good. Reminds you of the Lorax. I could definitely see that. Alright, Pinky Lemon. I'm gonna need you up here to guard the children, please. There you go. That doesn't block the bed. Yeah, we're still fine there. Pinky Lemon, and we'll get we'll get Farogmon guarding the other one once we once we have access. 
That's not going to cause the children, like, nightmares or anything, do, do you think? It's probably fine. Could you imagine as a child going to bed every night with Pinky Lemon watching over you? This life-sized statue of this, of this pink mustachioed creature? I would sleep soundly every single night. I, it, I would feel so protected and loved. Look at that heart on his head. Do we have Humpty Goof? Yeah, but Humpty Goof is a gamer. He's guarding the gaming room right now. We're waiting on Ferogmon to complete the collection. Pinky Lemon shouldn't block the bed. We can make it through all sides of the bed here. I think I think we're fine there. All right. Um, what was my goal? Oh yeah, gain a, gain a combat level. <laughs> I got so distracted by Pinky Lemon. Lock it in. We got our combat level. Jump scare warning. Bam. Combat level 6. Slime Egg Press is on deck. The Slime Hutch Dream is alive and well. And Oil of Garlic as well is a new potential. Easy. Easy peasy. How you doing, Orion? Did you sleep well last night? With your new friend by your side? Look at all these diamonds. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Give me all those diamonds. Remember when the slime hutch was our plan for to get Dwarf Scroll 3? I do remember. Way back in the day. I still think it would have been a beautiful thing. That said, it was such a far-fetched plan, we might have still been working on it, like, right now. If we, if we had gone through with it, so... I have to leave for work soon, I'll see you tonight. No worries. No worries. I might also have to leave for work here soon. By work, I mean to work to go get my goal. So, let's go see what that goal is, shall we? See if we actually need to leave the house for this one, or if they'll give us a nice cozy cooking slash crafting goal. I'm, feel I'm feeling a cooking goal. We've had a decent amount of crafting goals. I wouldn't mind a little cooking goal just to, just to spice things up, no pun intended. Or I'll catch a sand sandfish, I guess. These fishing goals, man. We are getting perilously close to that fishing level up. I'm scared. <laughs> I think we can still do this. I think we can still catch a sandfish with with enough experience leeway. But we're going to have to make it... I mean, we're going to have to make it work, right? Sand fish. The first of the desert fish. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do a little... A little scouting here. Let's do a little scouting on the wiki. Just to see what we're up against here. Sand fish. This is this is what our sand fish situation looks like. We are looking at a 65 difficulty fish, which means we cannot use the training rod on it. The minimum fishing XP we can get for this boy is 24. If we get a base quality sandfish, we get 24 experience. That, I th I don't remember what our specific leeway is, but I think that's within our range here. We don't need to worry about magic bait or anything. It's available at all times, so... I think this should be sh relatively straightforward. Are there other desert fish? There is the uh, scorpion carp, yes, but it's very easy to tell the sandfish and the scorpion carp apart. It is an extremely... The scorpion carp is an extremely difficult fish. All right. And hey, Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker, by the way. Looking like a diamond in the rough. It fills me with optimism. Thank you. All right. Let's go see. We got... So we're going to grab the, the fiberglass rod here. I'll swap out the magic bait for just regular bait for right now, because we don't need to use our magic bait. Scorpion carp isn't that hard. I agree. But like... It can be pretty hard. <laughs> but most of the time, it's, it's you know, it's doable at the very least. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah, how much fishing experience we have. 1,077. So, plus 24 would put us at 1,101. 49 experience away from a level up. That is very scary. But, but it, t it still technically leaves us leeway 
for another fish if that should arise, um, depending on what the fish is. But I really want to get a base quality sandfish without any other, like, you know, green algae or trash or anything like that. So, so I think we just got to get this, like, first catch here. Uh, there's no reason not to go today, right? Because if, if I have to reset the day, it's not the end of the world. We just, we just reset the day and we're fine. Ooh, a pizza. A pizza for breakfast. Fish level up as a goal would be nice for just for some peace of mind. Yeah, that would be... It would be really get, really great to get that if we could. It's been a while since our actual last fishing level up. So we probably want to do something like this to minimize the potential quality here. Come on. Be kind, be kind. Is this a sandfish or is this a scorpion carp? This is not hard enough to be a scorpion carp. This is probably a sandfish. I, I would be flabbergasted if this was a scorpion carp. Like, this this feels like a 65 difficulty fish through and through. Easy peasy. 24 experience? That's what you want to see. All right. We got there. <laughs> That went that went perfectly according to plan. First try. No trash, no algae, sandfish. We're done. We're out of here. Easy. Well, I mean, maybe I'll stick around in case my next goal is catch a scorpion carp or something. <laughs> that bar is so full. It's a little spooky to look at. It's a little spooky to look at. That is very valid. All right. Playing with fire here, randomizer. We are playing with fire. Ironic, because it's a fish, which lives in the water, but... But it's a sandfish, and the, so the water's, like, kind of warm, so it kind of works. I'm just gonna stop talking and roll my next goal. Upgrade the watering can. Fishing level would have been great. I'll take a tool upgrade, though. I will take a tool upgrade. This is our... This is gonna be our second iridium-quality tool, isn't it? We have in the iridium-quality... Or the iridium hoe. This should be an iridium watering can now. Not too shabby. We will have that full suite before we know it. Watering can. Iridium watering can, even. Yo, watering can emojis. Get the watering can emojis out. I forgot we had that one. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I will eat this pizza to celebrate. Here's the thing, chat. I don't know if I have enough iridium bars to make this work. It's gonna be a little tight. We're gonna we're a little tight on the iridium front. That's all I'm gonna say. But I think we can squeeze. I think we can. I think we can probably manage it. If we scrap and scrape all of our iridium together, we might have just enough. Just enough for for five bars. We have thousands. Thousands of ore, sure, but, like, bars? And I don't want to really, like, smelt the ore if I don't have to. That just seems like kind of a hassle, right? 179? Like, that's a little, like, I kind of want to save it. I kind of want to, like, get some more. I want to get, you know, maybe above 200 just so we're on the safe side here. You never know what goals are going to come our way, right? Iridium quality watering can. Coming right up. Let's fill it up. Just, just, I mean, Clint's probably gonna have to empty it out to actually make the iridium thing, so it's kind of pointless, but where should I put my sandfish? Sandfish, are you a bottom feeder? I feel like you're a bottom feeder. You are. Oh, there's, a, there's another sandfish right there. How about that? One from the trash, one from the actual pond itself. That worked out nicely. What am I going to do when I run out? I don't know. I don't know. Iridium is not something that we have in great supply these days. <laughs> Wasn't always, at the very least. There was a time where five Iridium bars would be a, a multi-stream quest in themselves to go and get. How far we have come. Iridium watering can. 25,000 gold and a dream. Hit me with it. 
Thank you, Clint. Thank you. All right. And away we go. Sleep a couple days away and we'll be in we'll be in good ship shape for our next goal. Easy as that. How many tool upgrades like in total are we away from like a full suite? We have we need two pickaxe upgrades, two axe upgrades and a trash upgrade. So we need we only need like five more tool upgrades for a full uh for a full iridium parade basically. Although on 1.6 drops, we're also going to have to add iridium scythe to that, to that list, I'm sure. Oh, what about those loved gifts? That's a great point. I forgot we have that cheese kindness quest to do. We should probably get started on that. Okay, that's that's a great shout out, Rose. Thank you for thank you for catching me on that. It's a rainy day too, which means that a lot of people are gonna be staying home. Some people might be on the island as well, so I should be uh, I should be wary of that. There might be people out on the island. Okay, you were kind of hoping we would forget. It's all right. We'll do, we'll do it nice and quick here. Let's see. We need. Let, let me just empty my inventory of all the stuff that that is not that I don't need to bother with right now. I'm gonna go ahead and. I don't think I've filled up the silo yet today. <laughs> no, he remembered. We need the chi gems. We need the chi gems. Okay. All right. From the top here. From the top. Well, let's go over to, like, this chest here. This, Actually, this chest up here has a pretty good a selection of, like, good quality gifts. Like, loved gifts, right? Void Egg for Sebastian. Um, Artichoke Dip is not good for anybody, is it? Bean Hot Pot for Demetrius. Complete Breakfast for Alex. Fish Taco is good for Caroline... Have I befriended Caroline yet, though? Hold on a second here. Who have I not... I, I have to... I don't think I befriended Caroline. I think I, I always get it confused because of the because of the quest. All right, Gus. Neither Gus nor Caroline, so that doesn't work. Okay. If it was up to you, only rabbit's feet. We don't have that many rabbit's feet to go around. All right, fish tacos we're going to hold on to. Fried calamari for Pierre. Maki roll. Don't think it's good for anybody. Pink cakes are good for quite a few people. We get, Take one for Haley. Take one for Marnie. Um, Jass, we haven't befriended yet, have we? I know we befriended Vincent. We have not befriended Jass yet. I haven't befriended Krobus yet either. Okay. So pink cake. We, do we only need two pink cakes, or can we cover more people with that? Pizza for Shane and Sam, right? Oh yeah, pink cake for Vince. Pink cake does work for Vincent. Oh yeah, I was getting them confused. I thought Jazz liked pink cake, but no, Jazz, it's Vincent that likes pink cake. All right, so Vincent, Haley, Marnie, um, Maru loves loves rhubarb pie. Our lovely wife. What happened to Rabbit's feet? This is more fun. <laughs> this is more fun in my opinion. Roasted hazelnuts for Kent. Salad for Leia. Is salad good for anybody else? I don't think so. Spaghetti for Robin. Tom Ka soup. I always think that Sandy loves Tom Ka soup, but she doesn't. She gives you the recipe for it. Vegetable medley for Lewis. Jody also loves rhubarb pie. Yeah, but I don't think Jody has been befriended yet, right? Jody has not been befriended yet. Okay. Um, gold bar. Is is gold bar good for? Does Willie love gold bars? I know he loves iridium bars. I'm just gonna take an iridium bar for for Willie there. Soup to Elliot. Oh, true. Yeah, Elliot does love the Tom Ka soup. Okay. Anything else here? Leo loves duck feathers. Um, Linus loves a cactus fruit. So does Sam. But we already have the pizza for Sam. Do we have mead for Willie? We might. I mean, I've already got the iridium bar for Willie. If there was meat anywhere, it would be in here. Mango sticky rice for Sandy. Um, chocolate cake for Evelyn. Chocolate cake also works for Abigail. Cactus fruit for Pam as well. Good call. Good call. Okay. I should take some diamonds because a lot of people love those. 
That is true, but you know, I think we did that last time for the Cheese Kindness Quest. Let's personalize it even a little bit more this time. Who do I not have a gift for yet? I've got Maru, I've got Robin, Lewis, Willie, Marnie, Demetrius. I don't have my homie covered yet. How could I ever forget? Uh, Kent, Vincent, Evelyn, Pam, Pierre, Linus, Leo, Sandy, Haley, Harvey I don't have covered. I can get, like, coffee for Harvey, right? Sunflower for Haley. We've got pink cake for Haley. So we're good there. Um, Sam I've got covered. Sebastian, Elliot, Leia, Shane, Abigail, Alex, Orion. <laughs> I've got everybody. So I need coffee for Harvey. And who else? I need, yeah, for, for our homie, of course. All right, coffee. Grab coffee for Harvey. Super meal is also good for Harvey if I have one. I do have two super meals. You know what? We'll go there instead. I'm willing to do that. And... Um, for homie, we, sh we should have some lemon stones for homie. I have one lemon stone. Maybe we go, we'll go Omni Geode on this one then. Omni Geode. Homie. Uh, Sandy, we have mango sticky rice. Alright, I'm gonna grab some crab cakes. I'll grab a coffee and a crab cake just for, for speed purposes. Get around a little bit faster. We could actually even grab a couple coffees probably. And let's start making our round, shall we? I think I'm actually gonna... We'll, we'll grab a few coffees here. I think I'm gonna start by... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Ginger Island to start, actually. Just so I can catch everybody who happens to be there. Because they'll probably be there by now, right? So let's go, let's go make that happen first. Alright. Hi-ho and away! Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave Iota right up here. That way when I warp home from Ginger Island, I can, uh... I can pick her up nice and quick. You can give your spouse every day. That is true. That's gonna help bolster our... our collections a little bit here. Alright. Down we go. We can catch Willy down here for sure. And then whoever's on the island. If anyone happens to be there. It might be raining on the island. Alright, Ir Willy gets the Iridium Bar. Enjoy, sir. This is a fun quest, honestly. Even if, even though... Oh, there it is raining on the island! Alright, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, let's get back to town real quick, then. Let's get back to town. Leo will not be on the island today, right? Okay. We're gonna have to banana people after. We should definitely banana people. It's been... Homie has been away from the top of the list for far too long at this point. All right, Pam should be hanging out here. I will give Pam a cactus fruit. Easy. I'm going to make my way over to, uh, to Harvey's office because it closes pretty early in the day. So let's see if we can catch uh, Harvey and Maru works today, right? So she should be she should be here as well. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> I love that. I love that. The little pink text there. Okay, um, for, so Marnie, I have pink cake for Marnie. Enjoy. For you, my love, I have a little bit of rhubarb pie. Enjoy. I don't know where Harvey is. He's hanging out up here. Wait, is, isn't Marnie here for her doctor's appointment? <laughs> Oh, was that a birthday gift from... Oh, it is a birthday gift from Marnie. You're so right. I forgot she goes to the, to the doctor on her birthday. She walks into her point with a whole cake in her hands. All right. Um, I got a super meal for you, sir. There you go. Love it. She's, oh, she's saying it. She's so sweet. You're the best. All right. I'll leave, I'll leave you to the appointment. It doesn't seem like Harvey's in any kind of a hurry. Classic doctor's office moment right there. Alright, fried calamari for you. Enjoy. I've got, um... What do I have for Abigail? Chocolate cake for Abigail. That was right. Eat chocolate cake? No, I would never. That would just that would be so rude. Enjoy. 
Okay, let's pop on over to uh, to Evelyn's household here. For that. George, hope you enjoy whatever Evelyn made for you. <laughs> I got nothing, my friend. Sorry. Maybe next time. Complete breakfast for you, though. All right. Um... I need to visit Penny. Lewis is right here. I can get you a vegetable medley, sir. Enjoy. Anyone at the saloon that I need to catch? Abigail's already here. Nobody else, though. Gus, I can't give a gift to right now. We're cruising. We're going pretty we're going pretty quick through all this, honestly. Let's go ahead and make it even quicker, though. Did I leave Iota behind? I did leave Iota behind, didn't I? Never make that mistake again. Breakfast at 2.30. I've had breakfast later than that. I don't make I don't make a habit of it, but but it does happen, you know. Alright, pink cake for you. Enjoy. Nothing for you, Emily, I'm afraid. Hopefully a lot of a lot of these folks are just hanging out at home here. There you go. Pink cake for your son. I got nothing for you though. Hope you don't mind that. Uh uh. Cactus fruit was for Linus. The pizza is for Sam. Pizza! Alright, Kent must be out and about somewhere. Is he hanging out down here? Or did I, just, did I just miss Kent in there? I don't know where else Kent goes if he's not, like, down there or up here. In, like, like, at home. He's not, like, in his room or anything. I don't know where he is. Does he hang out, like, north of the house, maybe? Like, up here? Yeah, there he is. Okay. Roasted hazelnuts for you, kind sir. Making quick work of this. Very quick work. Alright, do I need to go uh, west for anybody? Leia might be at home. Or she could be on her way. That's even better. Save me a few steps. Thank you. Alright, don't need to go visit the wizard or Jazz. We already got Marnie. Shane is going to be either at work or on his way to the saloon. Um, I gotta go hit the in-laws eventually here. We're gonna schmoove our way through here. Don't have anything for you, Claire. Sorry. There you go, Shane. Just as he's getting off work, too. Could, could the day get any better? You're getting off work and you get a free pizza from one of your best friends? Life is great. All right. Who stands under a tree during a thunderstorm? You make a valid point. Okay. Robin's walking away from the desk, but that's okay. Here's a little spaghetti. You don't have to make anything for dinner. Enjoy. Bean hot pot as well for you. I got the whole family covered here. And you get a gift. And you get a gift. And Sebastian's not here. <laughs> he might be down at the beach. When it when it rains, he goes down to the beach a lot, a lot doesn't he? He might also be over by the lake. Uh, I gotta go catch Linus here. I do not see Sebastian here. Oh, let, oh, that's so cute. They're hanging out together. Perfect. Good to catch you both in, in the same place here. Enjoy. And you enjoy this, little buddy. Felt like a stranger here at first, but I made a lot of friends. That's so sweet. I love that. I love that for you, little guy. All right. Homie's right up here. Make some magic. Ding. All right. Get some homies in chat. Homie. Rain, it's almost mythical to us. Some of us dwarves live our entire lives without ever experiencing it. That's such a wild concept. All right, I gotta go find Elliot, Sebastian, and then Sandy is very easy to get to. Can I get to Elliot? I don't know what... To, uh, his, his house probably doesn't close up until, like, what, like 8 p.m. or something like that? I can probably still visit him. We shall go find out. Shan't we? I don't know if Sebastian's on his way home yet. On his way homey yet. Okay, let's get Elliot first. It's locked. Dot, dot, dot. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I was very hopeful. Sebastian is not here. 
Maybe they're at the saloon, though. It could be that they're at the saloon right now. Like, both Elliot and Sebastian, actually. There's a solid chance, a solid likelihood. Elliot's not here. Is Sebastian here? Sebastian is here. Sam's not. That's kind of interesting. Okay, there you go. Enjoy. I think we might have missed Elliot today. I don't think we're going to have a chance to get to him, but that's all right. Still got, this will be what, 23 gifts total? Could de definitely do worse than that. Elliot's at the library. It's too late for the library, right? Unless he's, like, on his way home right now. Maybe I could still catch him? Maybe. Elliot doesn't want the rain to mess up his hair. He doesn't go out at all during a rainy day, does he? I think I'm remembering that now. I think I learned that from a Charlie Barley video. Because where else would you learn interesting Elliot factoids? Alright, this is not where I need to be. I need to go to the desert. Bam. I do not have the key to the town. That is a that is a randomizer specific goal, so we won't be able to won't be able to make that work, unfortunately. Alright. And enjoy your sticky rice. There you go. She loves getting flowers from the valley. I'm sorry to disappoint you, I guess. <laughs> perfect, perfect. There we go. That's it. That should be everything for the day. Mango sticky flower. Really want that goal to show up now. It was, what's my current goal? I kind of forgot. Oh, the watering can. That's right. That's right. We're, wait, we're just waiting on the upgrade now. I got so laser focused on my on the loved gifts and stuff here. Did you have a good day? Did you enjoy your rhubarb pie at work? Make sure you don't leave your tools out in the rain. You wouldn't want them to get all rusty. Don't worry. Iridium doesn't rust. Just another boring day at the clinic. All right. See you in bed shortly. Does Orion actually go to bed properly now? He does. He's wide awake, though. My man's is wide awake. It's all right. You can go to sleep. Pinky Lemon is watching over you. Look, just like look, look. Your sister's fast asleep and everything. It's all right. Pinky Lemon is here to protect you. You don't need to worry about it, little buddy. All right. Lock it in. That's one creepy kid. Excuse me. That's my son. You're talking about. Don't you talk to me or my son ever again? Alright. Here we go. Well, Maru, you're right here. <laughs> I could just give you this gold bar if you if you if you would like. There you go. That's another love gift already knocked out. Already gave Orion and Andromeda their breakfast. They were hungry. Kids do be hungry. It's alright, Savan. It's alright, I forgive you. <laughs> Look, even I have to admit, it was a little creepy the way he was just staring into space in the middle of the night. It, it could be something to do with Pinky Lemon, admittedly. Oop, didn't need that. Um, Let me grab a crab cake, though, for the road here. Okay. Let's go ahead and, uh, and do another round of gifts here, shall we? So we got Tom Ka Soup. We already got Elliot sorted out here. It's not raining today, so people could be a little bit more scattered than usual. Let's go ahead and grab, um, we'll grab a, we'll grab a banana pudding for Abigail. Grab a chocolate cake for Evelyn. Actually, I gave a chocolate cake to Evelyn yesterday. What else could I give her? Let's, let's just mix it up a little bit, right? Pepper poppers for Shane. Hmm. Get some wine. Wine for Harvey. Wine for Leia as well, actually. That works for me. Kira, welcome on in. Hello, hello. Let's see. I don't think any of these, like, mushrooms or anything are love gifts for anybody. 
give a beer. We got a couple beers there. I can give those to Pam and to Shane. It's got us covered there. I will grab. We'll grab a diamond. Grab a diamond or two. We can. We can. We 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 worked hard yesterday. We can make make some little diamond shortcuts today. Diamond, two diamonds. That'll cover us for Marnie and Evelyn, right? I will also grab a frozen tear for my for my half brother in law, and a another Omni Geode for Homie. Where do we go? What else can we get for Homie? What else does Homie like love? I always think of like lemon stones and Omni Geodes. What else do What else do they love? It's got to be more than that, right? All gems. Do they really love all gems? All right, we'll go. We'll go aquamarine then. In that case. I totally forgot about that for some reason. <laughs> I laser focused on the lemon stone too hard, I guess. Alright, anything else here that is good loved gift material? Um Don't think so. I mean there's two prismatic shards, sure, but Alright. Willy. Willy likes Willy likes pumpkins. I can maybe get a pumpkin for Willy. We got we got a few already down at the at the Junimo huts. Okay, um, let's grab a, f I'm gonna grab a flower for Sandy. Make some mead if we wanted, that's true. How long does mead take to make? It's not very long in the keg, is it? Grab a, we'll grab a daffodil for Sandy, why not? Does Shane still love beer? Yeah, we'll call, it's non-alcoholic beer, it's making a big comeback. Anything? Um, oh, we have a pump. We have pumpkins here. Grab a pumpkin for Willie. Grab a hot pepper. We grab hot pepper. Actually, we could swap out the beer. We could swap out the beer. We could swap out the beer for another a second hot pepper because Lewis loves hot peppers, right? Lewis loves hot peppers, but so do, and so does Shane. So we could swap out that, and we can grab a parsnip for Pam as well. A tulip, a tulip for Evelyn? We could do a tulip for Evelyn, actually, instead of a diamond. Oh, grape? Actually, good call. Grape for Vincent. Take that. Uh, we'll put away the beers here. I'll put away a diamond. And... I'll put away both diamonds. We'll, we'll mix it up again. I already have pepper poppers for Shane. Oh, I do have pepper poppers for Shane. Wait, you're right. You're so right. Okay, so we can just put away one of these one of these hot peppers. Then we got a hot pepper for Lewis. Sunflower for Haley. We can do we can do that. I'm down for that. Um nobody loves star fruit, do they? Okay. Yeah, we got that covered now. Perfect. Alright, yeah, we can do sunflower. Sunflower for Haley. Um Roasted hazelnuts and fried calamari, because they're like the only real options here. Also grab a complete breakfast here. Um, Let's see. What else does Demetrius love, or do we just go bean hot pot again here? Coconut for Linus, good call. We're, go we're going full, we're, go we're going only one gift for each person this time. Strawberries. Oh yeah, strawberry for Demetrius. Good call. We've already given a gift to Maru today. Um, Leo. Leo would love some... Leo loves mangoes, correct? Leo loves mangoes. Okay. Alright. If we're gonna go if we're gonna go single gift for everybody, we gotta we gotta mix this up though. So we can give wine to Harvey or Leia. Um, is there another gift in here that either of them love? Pickled eggplant? I will give some pickled eggplant to Harvey instead. Go that way. Alright. This is- we're only gonna be able to give, like... Well, here, I'll put away the coffee. For now, and then we can go ahead and, uh... We can give 20 gifts in, in one- in one swoop here. Goat cheese, actually, is a good call as well. Who else do I still need to get? Do I have a gift for Abigail? 
Um, I got banana pudding for Abigail. That's right. Okay, we need... Oh, goat cheese for Robin. Good call. Goat cheese for Robin. That works for me. Who else do we still need to get? We got Robin. We got Lewis. We have Willie, right? Do I have some... Oh, I have a pumpkin for Willie. That's, that's correct. Okay. Um, Marnie, we got... Gosh, this gets so complicated. For San oh Sandy, we have um we have a daffodil. Marnie, we have the we have something for Marnie. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we have something for Marnie, don't we? Do we not have anything for Marnie? I'm looking at this. I don't think we have anything for Marnie. Okay. Um, we go chocolate chocolate cake. Does Marnie love chocolate cakes? Marnie loves... She loves pumpkin pie. Pink cakes and diamonds. Farmer's lunch. Oh, we could go farmer's lunch. I think we have a few of those. We have one of those. Am I willing to sacrifice it? Sure. I'm probably not going to use it otherwise, honestly. Clear out an inventory space in this in this fridge here. Okay. Alright. Demetrius we got covered with a strawberry. We have a, a... We have an aquamarine for homie. Roasted hazelnuts. Grape. Um, we have to go grab a tulip for Evelyn. Let's go, let's just go do that right now. Take care of business down here. We could have some, some other gold, uh, some other gifts down here as well, if we are lucky enough. Okay. Tulips. Actually, tulips are probably in the Junima huts themselves. I will give Evelyn a lovely little pink tulip. Okay. Uh, Pam, we got a parsnip, fried calamari, uh, Linus, we got a coconut, Leo, we have a mango, Sandy daffodil, Haley sunflower, Harvey gets pickles, Sam, does, do I have something for Sam yet? Do I have something for Sam yet? I don't think I do. Maple bar? I can make maple bars, actually, can't I? I think I'm able to cook maple bars, and I don't. I don't think I, I don't know if I have any on hand, but I am allowed to cook them right now. Okay. I think I have some maple syrup kicking around. Also, those cactus fruit and tiger's eye. We could go cactus fruit for him. Yes, yeah, we'll, we'll just go cactus fruit for him. We didn't give him the cactus fruit last time. We gave cactus fruit to Pam and to Linus, so we'll do that. All right. Uh, that gets Sam, Sebastian. I have a frozen tear, correct? Yep. Perfect. Elliot, Tom Ka soup. Leia gets wine. Shane gets, um, not a hot pepper. He gets pepper poppers. Abigail, I have banana pudding. Alex, complete breakfast. Is that everybody? How could that, how could that be everybody? I don't, I feel like I don't have enough gifts. <laughs> Oh well, we'll make it. We'll make a run, and if we have to come back and get more for people, then then so be it. But for now, grab my coffee and let's get started. I have twenty four total. Oh, that's true. You're right. I for some reason I I don't know where my brain was at. I thought this was like, I thought my inventory was only twenty spots, but we have we have twenty three. Okay, so we're fine now. We are fine. We are good. That should have all our bases covered then. All right, off we go. <laughs> For some reason, yeah, I just thought it's 12 spaces per bar, not 10. We gave a gift tomorrow already, that's true. Okay. Let's make our round, shall we? All right, Pam should be walking through here shortly. There she is, and there's Alex as well. There you go. Complete breakfast for you, sir. All right, I don't need to... Actually, I can visit in here. Evelyn, you get a tulip. Lovely, lovely. All right. Up to the little shops here. We got fried calamari for our favorite shopkeeper. Our favorite seed-dealing shopkeeper. Let's be specific here. I mean, let's, 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 not, let's not go crazy here. All right, um... Banana pudding for Abigail. And Caroline, you get nothing! Good day, ma'am! Alright. 
for Harvey. I've got some lovely pickled eggplant for you. Just you, just what you want to smell on your doctor's breath. Yummy. Sandy is also a seed dealer. You make an excellent point. All right, he's off to Ginger Island, which means other people are also going to be off to Ginger Island today. Shane, I've got the best hot peppers for you. They're not stale or rotten or anything at all, I promise. Haley, are you home? Are you home or are you off to the island already? You are not going to the island right now. I got a sunflower for you in that case. Enjoy. Is Kent hanging out down here? He sure enough is. Roasted hazelnuts. He gave me like his whole life story when I gave him those roasted hazelnuts. Kind of wild. All right. Samuel, Samson. I think it's Samson, isn't it? Is it not? I, don't, I never remember. Either way, cactus fruit was for you. Why you love the cactus fruit specifically, I may never know, but maybe the better question is why doesn't every person love? Why isn't cactus fruit a universally loved gift, honestly? Samothy? <laughs> I definitely want to say Samson for sure, yeah. All right, we're going to hit up Marnie here. Marnie, get yourself a farmer's lunch, a farmer's brunch even. Is 11 a.m. brunch time, or does that still count as breakfast time? I feel like brunch time is between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. That feels correct to me. I have wine for Leia. Yeah, it, just, it decidedly feels like a brunch time hour, doesn't it? All right. Let's go find Vincent real quick, and then we'll maybe... Work our way down to Ginger Island, see who we can catch over there. Vincent should be hanging out here. Got nothing for the rest of you, but grape for the goodest boy. Make him sound like a dog. <laughs> That's not my intention. Argon Matrix is a universal cactus fruit mod. Now we're talking. That's a, that's a mod I can get behind. Also a mod I could probably make, to be honest. Do, do, do. There's Elliot. Missed you yesterday, buddy. Enjoy your Tom Ka soup. Goodest boy is Tim Beeb. Yeah, but Tim Beeb does not exist in this timeline. In this universe, there is there is no Tim Beeb, I'm sorry to say. Uh, Willy gets a pumpkin. PSA, do not feed dogs grapes. Very accurate. Have I already given Shane a gift? I gave I gave Shane his pepper poppers. I gave yet yeah, I don't have anything for Clint. All right. Is Leo here on the island on Fridays? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say a hearty and healthy no. I think we're I think we're covered on the island front then. He exists in our hearts. Absolutely true! Exclamation point, Tim Beeb. Our boy has not been getting enough pets lately. Just because he's not here, you know, in, in front of us on the screen doesn't mean he doesn't deserve all the pets. All right. Uh, Caroline, got nothing for you. Let's work our way up north here a little bit. I haven't found... I haven't caught Lewis yet. I need to, I need to keep that in mind. Goat cheese was for Robin, correct? Iridium quality goat cheese. That's some top tier goat cheese for you. Enjoy. I've got a strawberry out of season. Well out of season for you, Demetrius. For Sebastian, who's presumably down here. Your bog standard frozen tier, but hopefully you enjoy it all the same. All right. We can hit up Linus. We can hit up our homie. And that should cover pretty much all of the... Well, unless Leo is also up here, actually. I don't know that he is. Not currently here, cat. Maybe he's in the in the tent. Nope. Maybe he is with um with with Linus somewhere else. Then railroad. Quick railroad check, I guess. All right, there's Linus. Leo is not with him, so Leo could be on the island. 
Um, either way, that's a coconut for you. Yeah, it could very well be that Leo is... Oh, Leo probably would be at school, actually, you're right. I don't think... He, he wasn't there yet when we first went to visit him, but he might be there now. All right, pardon me, homie. Hope you don't, hope you don't mind if I take a little coffee break with you before I gift you your lovely aquamarine. Enjoy. Yeah, maybe he was on it. Maybe it was too early at the museum or at the library. I was heading to town again here real quick. Maybe you're here now. They've gone. They've left. He's not here either. Okay. Um, Leo is missing. <laughs> All right. Let's go find, uh, let's go find Lewis at the very least. He's probably not at home. I don't know if he's at the saloon just yet. We'll, we'll check at home, I guess. Couldn't hurt while I'm running past. He's not here. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to think that, uh, that Leo's probably on the island, if that's the case. Alright, he's not at the saloon yet. He will be later tonight, so if I don't find him in time... He's at the mountain lake. All right. In that case, I'm going to go ahead and make a, um, is it, wait, is Lewis there or is, is Leo there? Either, I guess I should head up either way. Cause if I need, if I need both of them. Leo is okay. There's Sebastian. Come back up here and, and pick up Iota anyway. All right, he's at the mountain lake, you said. Is he, like, on the island out here? Oh, I see him, I see him. Okay. Hanging out with Linus officially. I was just a little bit too early to the party. All right, mango for you. Enjoy. Gonna put it in your nest. I mean, you should probably just eat it. I don't know, I don't know how well it'll hold up in a nest. You were listening to Kazoom earlier today just to put you in a good mood. We haven't hit Kazoom on the stream playlist yet today, so... We could still be in for a good time that way. All right, Lewis and Sandy should be should be easy pickings at this point. His nest is what he calls his fridge. Head cannon accepted. All right, Lewis still not there. I actually don't know where Lewis would be right now. Maybe he's over at Mar like coming home from Marnie's or something. Potentially. I mean, Marnie's not there, so Lewis is probably not there either. Do, 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 do. He's at the saloon at 550. Okay, so he'll be like here any second then. He's he's just he's gonna zoom in from somewhere. Okay, I saw him up there. I saw him. All right. Hot pepper. Check it and see. I got more gifts to give, so I'll be back in three hours. <laughs> All right, and off to visit Sandy for our final gift of the day. That'll put us at a lovely 47 gifts. 47 gifts, and we have three days to go. We can give, we can give two, we can give a gift to Maru tomorrow and Sunday. So we'll have to give one extra love gift beyond that, right? On Sunday we can start we can start again, but we don't need to give that many gifts on Sunday. We can give one to Maru tomorrow, and then one to her on Sunday, and one to somebody else on Sunday. Bam. Done. Easy. There we go. Birthday? Is it any, is it anyone's birthday on any anyone's birthday upcoming at all? Even actually. We can gift Elliot. We gave we gave Elliot a gift today. Oh, we can give Elliot a gift tomorrow though. I see what you mean. I see. I think I'll probably just wait till Sunday, because if I have to, if I gave Elliot a gift tomorrow, I'd have to wait for his like house to open. So what I'll probably do is just on Sunday I'll go and give I'll give Maru a gift. I could give I could give uh, Robin a gift as well, actually. 
That's kind of that's kind of fitting. It's our mother-in-law. We should we should pay our respects. Because I was originally thinking of giving a gift to to homie, but uh, but if it's Robin's birthday, then yeah, we'll go we'll go that way. Do I still need Woodchipper Avenue? Probably not, but it's it's a historical relic at this point. I wouldn't dare dare mess with it. It stands there as a, as many things do on this farm these days. It stands there as a testament of of how far we've come and what we had to do to get here. Beautiful, beautiful. It, ser it served us very well. All right. Easy peasy. That was nice and refreshing, honestly. Just getting to go around and give all those gifts to the people that we worked so hard to befriend in the past. It's just kind of a nice, you know... It's just nice. <laughs> I don't know what more to say. It just makes my heart feel good. Ooh, but what makes my heart feel even better is seeing that my Iridium watering can is ready. Which means we got a new goal on deck here. Maru can get a battery pack tomorrow, maybe. Does Maru love radioactive ore or just radioactive bars? I want to say she also. Lo I, I want to say she loves both, because I can part with some of that. We've never given her either of those, right? I feel like she loves. I mean, I know she loves bars. Bars only. Might be Barzol. For some reason, I don't know, radioactive ore is definitely... It's sticking in my brain as something that she loves. Let's wiki this. The, wi the wiki page is right there, so I might as well just, just click and check. Radioactive bar only. For some reason, I thought radioactive ore was up there. I don't know why. All right. Radioactive bar. I'm willing to part with a radioactive bar. We can always smelt more. It's a special gift. Special gift for a special occasion. There we go. Maru, where is she? She might be hanging out on the on the front porch here. She might be hanging out in her little nook way way back here. <laughs> is she, are you back here? Oh, there she is. There she is. Not sure what this is yet, but it's fun to turn the old wrench now and then. I respect it. Here, maybe this will help a little bit. Just when in doubt, just throw a little radiation into the mix. Can't go wrong, right? And 50 wood for Robin. I mean, that just, that seals the deal right there. We gotta give her a gift tomorrow. She gave me 50 wood to add to my pile? Who am I to say, to say no here? You know, if I'm gonna be going out tomorrow anyway, um, like, I have to wait for, for Robin to open up so that I can visit her and give her a gift, I might as well wait until tomorrow to get, um, to get my iridium watering can as well, if I'm gonna be waiting the day out anyway. Just makes the most sense. Xmeister, welcome on in. Good to see you. <gasps> oh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Get some hoodie emojis in chat. Oh, baby. We gotta go find this this bad boy. That'll be a fun way to spend our <laughs> to spend our starting uh the start of our day here while we wait for places to open. Enjoy that, sweetie. And a spaghetti for Robin's birthday. Don't mind if I do. I feel like it's been like so so long since we've since we've had a, another stone owl. Granted, we haven't been like doing a lot of like you know mass sleeping. Hootie number. This is like hootie number twenty-seven. Thank you for the bomb, Kent. I'm gonna go put that away in a safe spot. <laughs> Andromeda is out and about. She is. She's not quite big enough to wear to be wearing a hat just yet, but she is uh she's growing up very, very fast. Alright. Let's do we'll 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 do screenshot tech on this one. Let's go let's go see if we can find this new hoodie via screenshot. I feel like that's the that's just the smartest way to go here. This is a this is a massive screenshot folder now. Oh, there's so many screenshots. Oh, jeez. All right, I spy. 
Little I spy, where's Waldo situation? I'm here for it. Okay. This is our current farm as it stands today. Let's see if we can spot the hoodie. I'm going to go back a day. I didn't see it immediately. Nothing immediately jumped out to me. I'm going to go ahead a day here. Oh my gosh, the giant pumpkins! <laughs> whoa, whoa, I'm looking down at that field. I'm like scanning for hoodie and all of a sudden I'm looking at the pumpkin field. What the heck happened, man? <laughs> we just doubled our giant pumpkins. And there's still room for more. Oh my gosh. New hoodie is up. Up here somewhere. That's that that hoodie's not new, right? That hoodie is new! That's incredible! That's incredible placement. Yo, who saw it? New hoodie is up, Laisha. Laisha. Yo, did you see that? That hoodie right there? He's literally that's like a perfect spot. It's like it was like custom carved for a stone owl to land there. Right there. This guy right here. At the at the right next to the stairs. That's so perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. New giant pumpkin as well. When did the, we got we got two giant pumpkins in two days there? You look at that. Jeez Louise. Amazing. Amazing. We just got rid of all those like big logs and we're gonna have the same amount of space taken up just by giant pumpkins, man. Not that I'm mad. Alright. Let me close out of all the screenshots and stuff. Get back into the game here. Go say hello to our newest, hootiest friend. Hello, sir. Appreciate you. For real, though, how many hooties do you think that is, so, that is on this farm now? It's got to be, like... It's somewhere between 20 and 30. I feel like that's, that's a valid number. Beyond that, I don't know how much more specific I can get. I've lost track. Twenty-three. I was also gonna say twenty-three. It just feels so right. Excuse me. I'm just trying to get to this this uh this sneaky little sapling over here. Pumpkins are tastier than logs. I've never tried a log, so I can't say for sure, but I'm gonna trust you on that one. Actually, I don't think I've ever tried a pumpkin either. I've tried pumpkin, like, pie and pumpkin flavored things, but actual pumpkin? Pumpkin seeds, maybe. You hear these Junimos? Dude, I've never heard the Junimos sing so much. Uh, yeah. Oh, sing it. Sing it. It's beautiful. Listen to these Junimos go, man. Listen to the Junimos go. He's stuck? Wait, so these are cries for help? Wait, where is he? Where is he stuck? Where is this Junimo stuck? They're stuck behind. They can't get out because of the giant pumpkin. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> They're trapped by the giant pumpkin, man. Oh, gosh. Okay, well... I think this is, I think this, we have to sacrifice this. There's just, I mean, it's, I, I, I could, I could move the Junimo hut, but this is just a, this is a quicker fix. Like, come on. Okay. There we go. There we go. They're all, oh, they're free. They're free. They're dancing. They're happy. <laughs> Sorry. That was just, that was an ill-placed giant pumpkin. It looks pretty solid. Maybe a very strong pickaxe could break it. That was, that was not the right kind of place for a giant pumpkin. Three giant pumpkins is already more than we probably want, so... Alright, there we go. Three giant pumpkins will have to do. I think we're probably going to knock it down to one giant pumpkin when all is said and done. We just have to wait till the end of the season and decide which giant pumpkin we want. Otherwise, I feel like they're just going to be taking up too much space. Okay, this can go here... The honey goes in this chest. Make it a yellow chest for for honey base purposes. Actually, make it like make it like this color. 
Um, red mushroom. And let's go... We'll go drop off our final gift for cheese kindness. Should be our final gift anyway. Then go pick up our iridium water can. How do you feel about that? Actually, we can use the uh, we can use our mountain warp totem, our mountain obelisk even. Make good use out of that. The first is Gordon. The rest are of no consequence. I don't know if we know which one was first. I guess we can check the screenshots to see which uh, which of them came first. Happy birthday. Enjoy. That's 300 Chi Gems to our name. Phenomenal. Top one was first, do you believe? I don't know if we ever saw, like, just one one giant pumpkin. I think we only came down and checked when there were already two of them there. But we can, we can check in and see. We'll do that once we get to the end of the season. Once once we know, because I mean, there might be one that just picks up picks a great place, and we're just like, all right, that's the one that was it was meant to be. We'll see how it goes. If they both came on the same day, then I mean, we're gonna have to keep them both. Either way, iridium watering can, that is fantastic. All it's missing is that bottomless enchantment to make it make it go full purple. That is a nice looking watering can, dude. All right. Took a little longer than many of us maybe expected because of because of my own side questing tendencies, but we got there. We got there in the end. Let's say I know we're probably all itching for it. Let's roll a new goal. Don't murder pumpkin. It remains to be seen. It remains to be seen what the cosmos have written for us. But that's neither here nor there right now. What is here and there right now, I will tell you. 55.7%. We are 55.7% of the way through this challenge. Holy moly. What's up, what's up for us next here? I have a feeling it's going to be something nice and easy peasy. Ship a peach. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that a peach? I will ship a peach gladly. You don't think I'm gonna we're gonna make 60% today? Hey, you don't know how long I might intend to stream today. Maybe maybe we go maybe we go like 10 hours today and all of a sudden all of a sudden 60% seems like a modest goal. Peaches, 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 peaches. All right, I shall go and ship a peach to end off this lovely Sunday afternoon. Three hours and a bit is your mental cap. It usually is for me too, like three to four hours. I can work my way up to five hours sometimes, but but sometimes, you know, I also do feel like I feel like I can just like keep going forever, basically. All right, I need to find a peach in my miasma of chests around here somewhere. It's undoubtedly around. Maybe it's in the fridge, actually. I remember I was putting, like, fruit tree fridge, fruit tree fruit in the fridge. I'll do the laundry tomorrow morning before you get up. That way I don't have any downtime. I appreciate that, but we don't have a, a washing machine or any other means to do laundry that I know of. <laughs> You're gonna have to get creative. I guess, you know, that's why you, that's why you marry an inventor. She can invent the washing machine. Boom. We did do the last two gifts, yeah. Cheese kindness has been completed. Just in time for a new Chi quest tomorrow, if we're so inclined. I have some washing machines with fish in them. How dare you? Alright. Go to sleep for the night. I think we are good. Lock it in. My dresser is, dresser is magically imbued to clean our clothes when we put them in. That's the only thing that makes sense. Unless we're just walking around all, like, smelly and gross all the time. <laughs> Which I really, I really hope not. I'm all here for the magic dresser. It is literally infinite space, that's very true. It's like a bag of holding situation. Where did I get these fish tanks from? Oh, these ones here? Uh, I think I just get them from the furniture catalog. You can probably get them elsewise, but um, but that's where I picked them up from.
Haley says you smell sometimes. <laughs> Haley's like, who, me? I would never say that. Haley Bot always has the best quotes at the right times. All right. Peach successfully shipped. That went so fast. I'm almost like, you know, I'm almost almost lost. I was like, I was on that previous goal for so long, and all of a sudden I just ship a peach, and it's it's done. It's done. It's over. Move on. Move on with your life. 55.9%. <laughs> Gain a fishing level, please. Honestly, like, fishing level is probably, like, if I if I were to make, like, a tier list of remaining goals at this exact moment, fishing level is, is, S, is an S tier goal. Please, just... Put me out of my misery here. That's... <laughs> They're gonna make me work for that fishing level. Oh, you don't get to go gain a fishing level. Not just yet. You want that fishing level? Why don't you put in a little extra elbow grease first? <laughs> oh, we all knew it was coming. We all knew it was gonna happen eventually. Fector's gosh darn challenge. It's time. It's time. It's been a hot minute since we've had Prairie King live on stream here, let alone Fector's challenge attempts. Oh my gosh. That's a good one to get in what could be the last uh, randomizer stream pre 1.6 before they potentially make Fector's challenge harder. Flip side, they could make Fector's challenge easier, but... <laughs> All right, rip 60%. What do you mean? We're just going to get Fector's Challenge first try here, and it's going to be, like, no big thing. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. All right, we do have to wait for uh, the saloon to actually open today in order to start our attempts. So, so let's get ourselves primed and mentally prepared for it. Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the $3.99 Super sticker, by the way. Holy mo- Look at that little, like, hippo boy. <laughs> I am scared. I'm- Well, I'm not scared. He's scared, though. I've done Fector's Challenge before. Lest you forget, chat, we've- We've been down this road before. You have seen me complete Fector's Challenge live on stream in the past. You think I should beat the game first? I mean, if I don't get Fector's Challenge first try, I will just probably keep going and try to beat the game. That way we can just have the machine at home, so then we can uh, so we can just play it whenever we want. Yeah, I think that's a smart idea. Are we save scumming? Do you know what stream you're in, Alice? Do you know what stream you're in? I'll save scum save scum a great many things, but Fector's challenge is not amongst them. Was this table always here? It's just like a blank table, or is that one that like Maru put in at some point? You support save scumming? I support save scumming if you're just like, if you just want the achievement. If you just, if you're just going like achievement hunting and you're like, Fector's Challenge is kind of an unfair achievement compared to like a lot of the rest of the achievements in the game. It definitely stands out as, you know, categorically harder than so, than most of them. I support you and your right to save scum for the achievement. But for me personally, I am a big fan of like the, the style of game, like the, like the twin stick shooter that Prairie King is. I just I love the gameplay loop. I'm I'm here to to suffer through it and unfortunately that means we're all going to have to suffer along together. So <laughs> we'll make it work. Maru put down the table and I moved it there. That sounds like yeah, that sounds accurate actually. Getting a drink for this show. I'm just I'm just doing laps. I got restless legs and restless fingers. I'm just I'm just so ready. I'm so ready right now. I am ready for Freddy. That's what I call the Prairie King. Do a quick little trash run while we wait. It's been a while since we've done one of those. Debris clearing or not? Nah. Just quick here. We'll get we'll get the living hat right now, and then we can just knock out all, like, the craziest stuff in one day. Just get, grab a quick living hat here. All right. If it had worked, though, that would have been a great moment. 
Maybe it had worked. Where's the factor? Where's the training montage for Factor's challenge? No lie, I might have I might have considered editing one together if I knew it had been coming today. <laughs> Yo, Sivan, thank you for the thirty dollar or thirty. I don't know what type of currency that is, but thank you very much for it. All the hype, I appreciate it. I am also very hyped. I love Prairie King so much. Say what you will about it. It may it may be like your least favorite thing to do in the game. For me, it is it is up there among like one of my favorite things to do in the game. Just like a fun little pastime. I am so ready for it. You're in good hands, chat. You're in good hands. For many other Stardew players, this would be a goal. In fact, I think for a lot of other Stardew players who have tried the randomizer, this is a goal that they either just, you know, skip past or delete from the randomizer entirely, and I fully do not blame anyone for doing that. But I put it in here for a reason. <laughs> I put it here for a reason. We are ready for a challenge today. It's been a good while since I've actually played any Journey of the Prairie King, so we're going to have to probably work some of the rust off, but... Maybe I'll surprise myself and and just get it first try here. That would be incredible, too. You can't even beat the first level. It's all about that practice. Practice does make perfect. I believe that anybody with enough practice could could beat not, could not only beat the game, but could complete Vector's Challenge if they if they really wanted to. Whether you actually really want to is, is a matter for, for you to decide yourself personally. Oh, I should have gone to... Ginger Island. Actually, it, we'll we'll go we'll go check out Ginger Island really quick. I mean, Factor's Challenge is still going to be there when we get back. But we'll go to Ginger Island really quick to get the uh, the Walnut Room quests for the day. You'd have to want to try. <laughs> that's 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 the barrier you got to cross. If you don't want to try, if you don't want to do it, then don't do it because there's there's no reward. No reward that most people would find worth it anyway. Ooh, it's boys' day on the beach. Well, don't let me don't let me harsh your vibe, friends. Boys' day out to the beach, including Leo. Look at that. I think I could I think I could blend in. I could be one of the boys. I could be one of the boys at the beach today if I wanted to. I feel like I feel like my outfit is perfect beach going attire at this point. Have a good one there, Jerry. Thank you for the the well wishes there. Appreciate it. All right, what do we got today? Extended family can't do Skull Cavern invasion is the only viable option here, so we we may make that work in the in the future here, but for now I've got a little a little bit of an itchy trigger finger for lack of a better word. You just had a light bulb go off in your head. I'm the guy that gives trainers fresh water and Pokemon gyms. That's the outfit. I 100% see it now that you pointed out. <laughs> that outfit is a so is so on brand. Yo, champ in the making. I heard you're here to challenge Brock, the Pewter City gym leader. Well, make sure that you come in well prepared. Brock fights with the with the stone cold rock type Pokemon. So you better be prepared with a water type or a grass type or maybe even a fighting type if you if you're feeling a little cheeky. It's so true. It's so accurate. Can I show the unfinished quests? You got it. I'm not going to go over all of them by name, but I will give you a little It's it's mostly like, you know, quests that I've gotten in the mail that I can get friendship points for with in the future. That's about it. And then advancement. <laughs> All right. Are we ready for this? I don't know if we're ever quite ready for Factor's challenge. You only get one try at your first attempt of Factor's. So let's make this count, shall we? I'm gonna get myself situated in my sitting, sitting nice and tall. Proper posture in my gaming chair. Chat, I'll see you on the other side. Here we go. We're in. I forget, you don't, you don't need a mouse for this. You use arrow keys. Okay. That's, that's how long it's been. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll get right back into it like I'm riding a bike. No problem whatsoever.
There is there is something to like the idea of like beginner's luck to a certain extent. I feel like a lot of times with challenges like this, you start like like I you start doing it and your and your first attempt or your first few attempts even are some of like your your best uh your best attempts for a good while. So we may early I I don't know. That's that's kind of the Dark Souls philosophy when like when you're fighting a new Dark Souls boss for the first time going in blind. It's crazy how often you'll like knock it down to uh to like 15% health and then finally die and then on like your next 5 attempts you can only do like you like die like on the first attack every time. I don't know what the rationale or the psychology is behind that, but it's, it's a real phenomenon and we might experience that here. It remains to be seen. I'm not going to mess with that nuke, I don't think. When they, when they drop that near the door, it's, it's probably not worthwhile to go for, especially because the nukes, if you pick up a nuke, the monsters that you kill with it do not have the potential to drop any uh, any items, for the record. I kind of want to go in-game music for this, honestly. Am I crazy for that, that I kind of want to go in-game music? I feel like Prairie King has such good music. You don't know how I do this while talking? A lot of practice. A lot of practice. Have a good one there, Xavia. Thank you for hanging out. M music is calming me down. You'd like the in-game music? In-game music makes sense. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep going with it with this for right now. I'm okay with this. If it's keeping people calm, we do have a relatively calming vibe to the to the stream playlist, but we'll see. I feel like there is something psychologically beneficial to a certain extent. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's early enough in the game. I'm just going to go ahead and like we'll, we'll we'll start a new attempt there. But I do want to try and complete I if 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 we get deep into a challenge and and I die like that, then I will uh then I'll keep going so we can just beat it and get the and get the machine at our house so we can keep going there, but Like, here's, here's my promise to you. If I make it through the first world without dying, then I will just complete the game regardless, and then we'll try actual Effectors Attempt ch Challenges back at home. Doesn't Daily Luck have an effect on Prairie King? I don't think it does, does it? I think that was like a... That's an old wives' tale. I don't know. What What does the wiki say to that effect? That is, uh, that is the, the best Arbiter that we have right right now, I think, so hold on to that for potential emergency use case. Ooh, extra life. Won't come in handy for Effector's Challenge attempt, but it will come in handy if we, uh, decide to, if we decide to keep going on this after we die. the thing to keep in mind is that you know Factor's challenge is a hard enough challenge on its own but just beating the game can be pretty can be pretty tough in its own right a lot of it does come down to to luck at a certain point we are not getting we're we're not getting the gold drops we would we would like to see on this first level you really want to have like i think at least like probably like 10 or 15 gold going into your first shop at the end of the second level so so we really need to Really need to start getting some gold drops, if you don't mind, game. <laughs> don't, hopefully someone's listening out there. The man behind the curtain, controlling the drops of these enemies. Two gold is not going to cut it. <laughs> we really need this next level to be kind to us. All right. I feel like I got a good amount of the rust out on that first attempt here. I feel I'm I'm starting to get back into the groove. Let the calming music flow through you. Well, I do think the in-game music could be beneficial in getting me in the right mental state. The calmness of this music is also something to be appreciated. Bro, we are not getting like any drops. Like zero drops. <laughs> this is this is rough. 
Come on, give me like give me like a five coin somewhere in here. You 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 owe me at this point, honestly. Grab you. Oh, that's good. I think I will actually I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna hold on to this. I think I'd rather have the, the wagon wheel in reserve than the nuke. Although the nuke is pretty good to have in reserve, honestly. It's kind of a nice like I mean it's it's a nuke for a reason. It's a good nuclear option. If you run into a, a relatively tight spot. Oh, didn't really want to pick that up, but that's okay. What's done is done. Alright. Four gold? We're not even going to have enough money to buy, like, anything in the shop. <laughs> like, literally nothing. That is, that is rough. That is not the position you want to be in. You can miss out on, like, one shop and still be fine. But if we miss out on any more than that, then we're going to be in pretty dire straits, I'm going to say. We'll see how it goes here. Very poor. This is a poor man's run of Prairie King right now. I can make it work for the first world, but we, we're going to need some upgrades before too long. Yeah, definitely got to get that. I mean, we have to go out of our way for any money at this point. Can't be a penny pincher here. Or maybe we have to be a penny pincher, depending on how you, <laughs> how you're phrasing it. Okay, get that, get that, get up out of there. Okay, grab that money. Perfect, perfect. I'm gonna do it. Do that. It just felt a little dicey. You gotta know when to use those power ups. You hold on to them for a reason, right? Okay. Ooh, that's good. That's good money. Very good money right there. Okay, we're start starting to make up a little bit of ground on the money front. That's good to see. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Getting it nice in the, in the middle there is, is also appreciated. This is where they were keeping all the money, huh? Uh, I gotta be careful here. Actually, I'm gonna do that, just in case. Okay. That's, that's a pretty good one to have in reserve, actually, this power-up. Because it makes you invincible for a little while. Very, very handy. 17 gold off the... I mean, that was like, what, like 13 gold from one level? That's much, much better. All right, quick hydration break for a second. Yeah, I think that's I think that's where a lot of people can run into trouble in Prairie King, is, is not realizing... When it's good to use your power ups, you want to hold you want to hold on to those power ups for a difficult situation. But it's it's kind of an acquired skill to recognize like how quickly you can end up in a in a dangerous situation, right? Like they can they can really sneak up on you fast, and you just have to be ready to pull that trigger. Honestly, this is not that good of a power up for this level because of like the narrow corridors. But I'll take what I can get. That was a little dicey. Made it through okay, just. Hold them off, just hold them off. At the very least, we have enough gold in pocket for the first damage upgrade, which is very nice. Grab that. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. I think go I think going not in-game music was the right call. You know, something's just telling me. Something's making me feel good all of a sudden about this run, chat. <laughs> no, wait, I want to... All right, hold on. I need to... <laughs> Get me back in here. I am at a bit of a disadvantage without in-game music using that power-up in particular, because usually the music is like your cue to... Uh, that the power-up's about to end, right? I need that money. I need that money. All right, there we go. Do 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 Factor's challenge isn't that hard, is it? We're gonna win it today. Off the back of Kazoom, yeah, we're gonna beat the game. And have some fun, too. I was kind of ahead of the game on that one, but the spirit was there. All right. 
Line up your shot. And I, oh, that's a good lineup. That's a good spot. Didn't quite, didn't get the RNG we needed there. If you get him stuck at the right spot behind that fence, you can actually, you can hit him while he can't hit you. That's where you really want to get if you can. Didn't get lucky there either. That's fine. Make it work. Perfect. Perfectly lined up. Ah, oh, like one shot away. Come on. He has like literally zero health. Are you, do you see this man's health bar? No, you don't because, because he's dead. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Do, 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 do. All right. We need, we need Kazoom. Please bless me with as much gold as you can right now. I really need, I really need some gold to make this run work. We've got the first damage upgrade. That's going to make us, we can one shot these mushrooms, which is absolutely critical to, to success at this point. But it's not going to be enough for for very long here. We need to we need to we need to up our game a little bit here. Oh, that's good. That's phenomenal. Okay, more more of those, please. More of those. <laughs> do, 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 do. Kazoom is making this a a run worth living for right now. Who knew that Kazoom was a cheat code in Prairie King all this time? Pro tip, if you've been if you've been struggling with Journey of the Prairie King, load up a little Kazoom in your ears, and all of a sudden, you're unstoppable. You're an unstoppable force of nature. Just put it put it on repeat, man. I'm halfway tempted to just loop the song. <laughs> but too much of a good thing can be bad. We don't want we don't want to curse Kazoom. Do do do. Banana down. Give me that money. I don't remember if we're gonna I think we I think we get a shop after this level. I think. Uh ooh, ooh, good. Really good, really good. Okay. Should be able to make it through this without any power-ups of any kind, which is very nice. One more gold for the road. No, okay. 18 gives us enough for the fire rate upgrade. I think I definitely want to take that. But we really got to save. We got to get some pretty strong gold drops if we want to get that uh, that next damage upgrade in time here. Prairie King is so much easier on Switch. I could see that. Yeah, playing with like a Switch controller, it would probably be probably come a lot easier to a lot of people. But I've got I've got a lot of practice with like the Binding of Isaac and similar type games, so I am more than accustomed to the keyboard pattern here. All right, this level level's a little tough. Like the layout of it. The next level, though, is is like the real killer for for a, like a lot of the time. I'm gonna do that actually and get keep that one in in reserve for invincibility purposes. That also works. <laughs> oh baby! Oh, the power ups are coming in fast and fierce right now. I'm a bullet hell boss all of a sudden. I love that. Oh baby! Okay, careful. Invincibility ran out. I really got to be on on my game for that because I don't have the music cue to pay attention to. Okay, that's good. 13 gold. We need to get up to 30 gold, ideally, between this level and the next level in order to afford our, our damage upgrade. That'll put us in a, in a pretty nice position, honestly. If we can make that happen. Okay, I would love to get that. That's awesome. Awesome. Love to get that as well, obviously. Okay. Power this is a this is a bountiful level. Some of these some of these levels, I swear some of the levels it's like you just get like an extra luck factor from somewhere. <laughs> and then they just like start dropping power ups on you like it's like they're candy. Like it's candy on Halloween night. Trick or treat, baby. Perfect, perfect. 17, we need 13 gold from one level. That's pretty, that's, that's a tall order. What attempt number is this? This is attempt number two. Yeah, we need 13 gold from this level. That could be a, a bit nasty to try and get, but I've seen stranger things. Here we go. Deep breath. This is a, this is a hard layout. This is a difficult layout. Don't hesitate to go invincible if you need to. 
It's a good power-up to have in reserve. That's a good one to just take, obviously. Very, 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 very nice. That's a great drop to get early on. Puts me a bit more at ease. The gold threshold has lowered significantly just off the back of that. Okay, I really could use... I, I could really use that. Okay, perfect. Thank you, thank you. I'm amazed that I actually got to all of those drops in time, to be honest with you. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Get those butterflies before they get you. Doing all right. Doing all right. Go for that. Do the the wheels. The, this is like a like probably like one of the best levels to get the the wheels on. That is that is all the gold we need actually, and then some. Keep getting more because we're gonna need more for extra power ups. Is is always is never a bad thing to have. Okay. Grab those. Get these guys out of here. Another five gold is is really big. Okay. Don't hesitate. Those mushrooms, they can they can skirt those corners like really, really quick. And really mess with you. If you're not prepared. So. Okay. Doing alright. Doing A O good. Beautiful. Beautiful performance on that level. Holy moly. Alright. Get that damage upgrade and work towards that next fire rate upgrade. Between two damage upgrades and two fire rate upgrades, we could easily have a pretty good shot at uh, at Fector's challenge here, or at, le at least at beating the game. Fector's challenge could still be it still might rely on some some good power up RNG, but we're in a we're in a we're in a great spot. For having missed the first shop, I think this is this is a pretty good position to be in. All right, boss number two, no problem. The trail ends here, cowboy? I don't think so. Ooh, ooh, oh, do you feel that? That's the kind of, that's the kind of AI we're looking for here. All right. Dodge. Oh, he's, oh, you cheeky little cowboy. Perfect, perfect. Lined up. Set him up and knock him down like he's a big old domino. All right. Give me that life. Nine lives. We should definitely have a win in the books if we don't have Fector Challenge, but... Vector challenge is still technically on the board, so here we go. AO good should be on a hat. I love AO good. All right, here we go. This is a tough one. This is where this is where the rubber meets the road for sure. You got you got to focus heavily on this one. Even with our two damage upgrades, the mummies take two hits. Those demons, thankfully, don't take don't take multiple hits. That's really the thing you want, you got to be prepared for is if they if they start if they're taking multiple hits if you don't have the damage upgrades. That's why you want those two damage upgrades because if these flying guys are taking multiple hits, then you are in for a world of hurt. Speaking of a world of hurt, I am without a power up, which is not a position you want to be this late into the game. Have, like having some kind of power up as just like insurance. Just anything. Just give me, just like literally anything, though. Like literally anything is here. Here's, I mean, all right, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You, you cheeky little imp. That's so rude. That's so rude. It's all right. We can still beat it. We can still, we can still beat the game. But that is, that does hurt a little bit. Uh, please. Okay, I got the five. That's that's kind of the main thing I was concerned about there. I can grab that as well. Okay, that's good. I'm actually going to use it, like, right away, I think, because I am getting a little bit cornered here. I don't want to be in a corner because those monsters, the, 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 like, devils and stuff, they can fly straight out of the corners. So it's really... I mean, you're, you're often going to get pushed there just by virtue of the mummies, but... But get out of them as, as soon as you can, realistically. Okay. There we go. All right. A little bit of extra gold for the road. 19. Are you kidding me? <laughs> One gold shy of that of that power up upgrade. Oh man. All right. Well, I will take the I'll take the speed upgrade. I'll take the speed upgrade. I'd be a fool not to. And we can we can hopefully get the damage or the fire rate upgrade. Um, in time for the... in time for Fector, at the very least. 
speed upgrade is greatly appreciated. I think I personally undervalue the speed upgrades a lot in this game. They can make like a world of difference in being able to like dodge in a in a tight situation. But it's it's really hard to justify buying one over like a damage or fire rate upgrade a lot of the time. I feel like if you if you can afford them, if you can aff if you can afford the damage and fire rate upgrade, you should pretty much go for it every single time. Unless you already have two of each. If you already have two of each, that's when you go for the speed upgrades in my opinion. But your mileage may vary. That's what we want. Okay. Hold that one in reserve. That's a boss killer right there. That's also our first our first sheriff star of the entire run, which is kind of wild. The luck was not on our side for those by any stretch. Okay, that's a lot of gold right there. If I can if I can get to it, might not be able to. Okay, we got there. The one up I'm not as concerned with. I'm honestly, I mean, the, if if I were still in Factor's Challenge territory, I would probably have used the the Sheriff Star right there. But now that I'm just trying to beat the game, I'm content. I, I'll take a death if if I can hold on to the Sheriff Star and use it for uh, for Factor. Actually, when you die, do you lose the power up you have in hand? I honestly don't remember. I don't think you do, but maybe you do. What does the Sheriff Star do? It gives you like a a speed boost. It gives you, like, a machine gun fire rate, and I don't remember what else. It, it's, like, extremely powerful, though. It's, like, a, a combination of a bunch of uh, power-ups all in one. All right, this should be our final level prefector. That is harsh. <laughs> that is a harsh uh, allotment. They, they they really tried to ambush me at the start here. All right, take those, grab that. Just get it out of the way. Yeah, there you go. This is this is the level that if you like, I mean, this is probably the hardest level in the game. And the fact that it's like right at the end here as well is uh it makes it makes Factor's Challenge just that much just that it's the icing on the cake of Factor's Challenge at the end of the day, ultimately. Don't really need the coffee specifically. I already have enough gold for the upgrade, so I'm not gonna worry about that. He's trapped by the mummies. He's trapped by the mummies. Uh, I don't. I don't know why I did that necessarily. I can kill. I can still kill Factor without uh, without that power up. So maybe it was for the best ultimately, just to try and get through this level as quick as possible. Yeah, come at me now. Come at me now. <clears throat> Who's your boss now? All right. God, I love that when you get like that. That perfect flurry of power-ups like that, it feels so good. That is a lot of imps. I'm glad I had that power-up on hand when I was when I was doing that one, actually. Alright, perfect, perfect. Easy. Alright. There we go. I will grab me a little fire rate upgrade here. I don't think I can just one-shot Fector with the with the invincibility from this zombie power-up, but it will protect me if I if I need it because I can still fire while I'm doing it. This pure heart will keep me alive. Yeah, shut up, you nerd. Get out of here with that. Yeah, if you have like if you have a sheriff star or like a machine gun or something, you can you can easily one-shot Fector or like get get him before he gets into this like second round, which is really where you want to be ideally. Get in here. He can still kill me in my in my powered up phase. I thought he, I thought I would at least be invincible from his attacks. I know I wouldn't be able to kill him in one shot, obviously, but like, come on, man. Oh gosh. See, this is you really don't want to get into into a firefight with against Vector if you can help it. You want that you want that power up at the end of the day. Okay, good, good. Should be a win, if nothing else. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. 
Get out of here, you nerds. Done. <laughs> All right. Two tries just to just to win the game. This at least gets us the Prairie King machine at home. Puts us in a great spot so we can just do Fector's Challenge in the comfort of our, of our own home amongst our lovely little pet cat, our children, our wife. Very, very nice. Dodging abilities, Pog. <laughs> but dodging those those bullets at the end is uh is a nightmare. I would not wish that upon my worst enemy. Hey, good timing on the music. <laughs> a little late, maybe. Can't even get past World 2 and you're just like, yeah, ain't nothing, beat it in two tries. I'm telling you, it's practice makes perfect. Press the button for a more difficult journey? Sure. I don't usually last long in hard mode Prairie King, so but, so we'll we'll give it a whirl. If I've already put in the legwork to get this far, let's do a little we'll do a little hard mode for a second here. Why not, right? Why not? I'm not like see, I'm not <laughs> you don't get to keep your lives, you can just you just you just You expire quickly in hard mode a lot of the time. I've had some runs in hard mode that can make it to like world two. But much, much beyond that is, a uh, is a bit of a pipe dream. Excuse me, hard mode? Yeah, I know. Many people don't even realize that Prairie Mode Hard- Prairie uh, King Hard Mode is a thing. You get, like, more enemies spawn, enemies drop fewer- fewer resources. Those, like, flying imps from the third world can- can spawn in any level. And power-ups last less time total so it's just it's kind of just like completely unfair in many ways <laughs> well that's what makes it fun that's what makes it fun yeah speed upgrade if you can sorry okay i guess i all right screw me i guess <laughs> can i beat level one of hard mode that's 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 all i want if i can just get past level one of hard mode i'll consider this a victory How long has this been going on? I mean, a full game of Prairie King does take a little while. Even if you don't die at all, it, it takes a it takes a hot minute to get through. So I don't know. I don't know how long we've been on this attempt in particular, but but long enough. I lose I lose all track of time once once you get me in Prairie King. To be honest, we do still have our gold from the end of the end of the first round, so that's pretty nice. There we go. Easy. Maybe that's why Abigail can't be Prairie King. She's on hard mode. No, I think Abigail is just, you know, a bit of a beginner. She'll get there. I, I have I have no doubt she'll beat the game one day. But it has been 29 years in-game, and she has not made any significant progress on it, I don't think. So, at least I haven't heard about it. Maybe she has, and she's just keeping it to herself. Remains to be seen. Excuse you. Yeah, see these, and the, the enemies do have more HP as well. Yeah, these these like little flying imps are taking taking two hits to kill instead of one. Thankfully, these guys still only take one hit. Otherwise, I don't know that I would survive more than like a couple seconds here. Oh, you piece of garbage. Oh gosh. Okay, stay away from that. Stay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the power up. You really got to use your power ups pretty, pretty generously in in hard mode for sure. See that machine gun did not last like any time at all. I think one ups. The enemies can drop one ups in hard mode, but it's like exceedingly rare. To the point that I don't even know that I've ever seen an enemy drop a one up in hard mode. But the the wiki says it's possible, so so I believe. I fully believe. Getting actually pretty lucky with these drops. Okay, that is... Uh, yeah, we'll just leave that one on the ground. I have enough for a fire rate upgrade, a speed upgrade. I'm going to honestly take the speed upgrade on this one. Wonder if Northern Lion has ever played Prairie King. He might have. He's he's played Stardew at some point in the past. I don't know if he ever found Prairie King in it though. 
You forgot that I play Binding of Isaac. Does it show? Can you tell? I don't know how transferable those skills are, but it feels pretty... Okay, yeah, this is this is where I die. <laughs> this is where... This is where I meet my end, I think. There were a lot of nice power-ups I missed out on the end there. But... Sorry, I mean, this, this one we're just doing for, like... For victory points right now, so it's uh, it's it doesn't really matter. Ooh, Sheriff Star! Oh my gosh, to what do I owe the pleasure? One up. <laughs> they do exist. Give me that. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby! I didn't even need to use that power up, but I was like. Oh my gosh, I was I was overwhelmed by power. Give me that. This is what you gotta do to survive in hard mode, baby. <laughs> Sometimes it's the only way. You just gotta be on a power up at all times. Excuse me? I, okay, I don't wanna be in the corner because the little dudes can fly out of the corner. If you're not careful. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, I, I mean, I got I got super lucky to, to get even that far with just how many how many monsters were were coming through. All right, big zombie dude, don't you don't you worry about me? I'm gonna be just fine. You just worry about yourselves, okay? <laughs> All right, perfect. Game over. Game over. All right, I'll take it. I'll take my win, and I'll be on my way. I'll, I'll look forward to the mail tomorrow. Play it at home in my actual gaming room that I've set up for just this occasion. Ooh. How we doing? How we doing, chat? We feeling the thunder? Our own probably like Vampire Survi Survivors. I've never played Vampire Survivors, but I've seen, I've seen it played quite a bit. It definitely seems like it would be up my alley. Chad is stressed out. I was a little worried about that. It, it, it is stressful to watch. But rest assured. I appreciate you all taking on the stress for me, because it's not uh, it's not stressful to me, necessarily. <laughs> it's the most Prairie King you ever experienced. Well, just you wait. Just you wait, small kidney Joe. We haven't even gotten started yet. That's where my machine's gonna go, right there next to right there next to Judimo Cart. Let's lock it in, get our machine, and win this thing. It's a good kind of stress though. A few diamonds for the road. Wish me luck, my children. Keep that alight, please. That's gonna it's gonna gonna be good for us. Don't give her the Omni Geode. <laughs> she didn't say yeah, she didn't have anything to say. She just jumped straight to the kiss. Honestly, it's kind of what I need right now. Alright, put away all this stuff. I should have put this away last night, honestly. Actually, don't we have a recycling machine kicking around somewhere? I made one, I'm pretty sure, right? It's over in Maru's room. There we go. Startup two player Prairie King with Orion. Oh, He's he's still a little young for Prairie King, maybe. I don't know if he's uh he's got the the motor skills to to handle just yet, but it could be fun. <laughs> Will this goal be over before 1.6 is the real question? It's a it's a real possibility that it will not. Congratulations! You've beaten Journey of the Prairie King and were randomly selected in our exclusive winter sweepstakes. They say randomly selected. Little did I little do they know that I am the only person to ever beat Journey of the Prairie King. So when you pick a random number between uh, between one and one, not so random. <laughs> You've won a Prairie King arcade system of your very own. You can now enjoy Journey of the Prairie King from the comfort of your own home. You deserve it, Prairie King development team. Thank you. Thank you, devs. Prairie King arcade system. So random. <laughs> All right. 
plop it down. Hydrate before we go in for one more run here. Depending on depending on how this run goes, this might be the last run of the stream, but I don't know. We'll see. I could I, I'm I'm compelled. I could I could keep going for a little while longer still. How did the devs get my address in the first place? You have to put it into the machine in order to play the game. Maybe that's why no one's beaten it before. <laughs> Between zero and zero. It's true, we do index at zero a lot of the time. Alright. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to I'm gonna pivot to in-game music for, for a little bit. Of, at, at least for this attempt. Not only because I like the Prairie King music... But because the one power up is like a is like a music cue as to when it ends, and that actually does come in handy. So here we go. Put it like right right about there. That's probably good. Lock it in. All right, journey the Prairie King music incoming. Let's do it. Here we go. Now now this feels right. Now I'm at home, baby. Oh, the nostalgia. It's all coming back to me now. Vector doesn't stand a chance anymore. It, every, everything is right in the world once again. I don't need the one-up, because even if, like, if I die at any point now, we're just restarting, so don't even worry about going out of your way for the one-ups. If I could, like, sell the one-ups for some money, then that would be a different story. That would be great, but unfortunately we don't live in an ideal world. I would rather have the that in reserve than the machine gun. I feel like it's a better panic button. Because this one only... It only helps you in one direction. Oh, that's so good. It only helps you in one direction, whereas the, the wagon wheel helps you in all five. Wait, all five? I think I just had five gold on the brain. <laughs> that's why I said that. Helps you in eight directions. I'll, I mean, I'll take it if it's just, like, sitting there. If you're just gonna, like, drop it on the floor like that, then then I guess. <laughs> and I feel like, game, honestly, you owe me a little bit. You owe me in the form of maybe some extra... some extra Sheriff's Stars, if you could be so kind. Argon, can you show us the Factor Achievement? Like, on the Achievements page? I could. I'd have to, like, do, like, a little screen region shenanigans to get there, but... <laughs> Off to sleep. Have a good one there, Ghost with Bow. Thank you for hanging out for a little bit. No mathing while Prairie King. Math comes in handy, though. You know, calculating the angles. Doing a little Sokotoa in the middle of shooting down these zombie dudes. Sometimes it's what you gotta do. It's what you gotta do. It's what separates the the champions from the mere gamers. It feels so casual now compared to like compared to hard mode. <laughs> Maybe that's what I needed was to, you know, dip my toes into hard mode for a little bit to be reminded of just how bad it can get. Not to say that this isn't also that this can't also get very bad very quickly if you're not prepared for it. Gotta stay on your toes. You can never be you can never get too comfortable in Prairie King. That's when you really start making mistakes. And one mistake is all it takes. Thank you for the gold, my friends. The gold on these first couple levels here is is come is flowing a lot more freely than it was on our on our on our previous attempt. Little dicey, little dicey on that one. I was I was missing more shots than I would have liked, but we made it through. We're doing just fine here. Okay. Didn't expect that last minute hoard at, at from the top there to be honest with you. All right, we're fine. Good stuff. I will take the damage upgrade so that I, I, we technically don't really need it for like the first world but having it in my back pocket is is huge and we don't need any fire rate upgrades necessarily to get through the first world okay here we go 
That is amazing, if I can get those. Sir? <laughs> good drops, good drops so far. I mean, it was literally only like two drops and they were the same power up, so I don't know. But it feels good. It feels like a good start to the level. Give me that money, honey. Ooh, that's good. I always breathe such, like, a, a breath of fresh air when I get to use the wagon wheel. Because you stop having to, like, even aim, basically. You still have to aim a little bit. You still have to, like, position yourself just so, but... It's a lot less stressful when you have that. Go. Set them up. Knock them down. Get more money. What do I need for the fire rate upgrade? I think I need 10, correct? We're definitely going to get the first fire rate upgrade before we get the second damage upgrade. There's That's usually the, the way it works out here. Kind of spooked me for a second there, you little... That little spiky weirdo. I gotta take my own advice as well and remember that I have that wagon wheel in reserve. Yo, Nightbot, thank you for the reminder. Hydration. This is attempt three. This is attempt three of Vectors. We beat the game on the second attempt so that we could play it at home, and now we're on our official third attempt. Guaranteed it's not going double digit attempts. I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna say any more than that, but we can get it sub ten attempts for sure. For sure. This is really the only sort of situation where these da where the damage upgrade helps in the first world is against like these like big beefy zombies. I guess it does also help against like the spike top enemies because they uh, they take two hits normally. I'm pretty sure. And against the spikes themselves, if you don't get to the spike tops in time, sir. Thank you. Grab, just grab it. Grab it and go. Very tempting to use the wagon wheel on this level in particular because it covers all your bases, but, but hold on to it. Hold on to it for a rainy day. Now is not the time. Okay, I'm just going to let that one simmer for a second. If I need it, I can try and go for it, but I don't think I will. Okay, I would love that gold. Thank you. I'm not going to grab that, because that takes you outside of the box. It, like, teleports you around, and it's really... It can be really dicey if you get teleports like, a weird spot. Oh, gosh. Okay, that was that was way too risky, and I didn't even get the gold out of it. But uh, but we survived, at the very least, which is... Which is all we could really hope for. Okay. All right. Grab that fire rate upgrade. We got a long ways to go gold-wise in order to get the um, the damage upgrade. But I believe. I believe. Here we go. First boss. You'll never take me alive! It wasn't the plan. It wasn't the plan, honestly. Uh, that's... Okay, it didn't quite line that up right. That's fine. Should still be able to take him down reasonably quickly here. You gonna move? Punk? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Give me that one up as just a just a trophy. I don't even need it, but I'm gonna take it from you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Optimism, 100 percent Always. Always optimistic through Prairie King. Carry me away, you little red weirdos. Red pandas. I don't even know what these are. <laughs> I don't know if I want to know either. All right, we're in a good spot here. One fire rate upgrade and one damage upgrade going into World 2 is is kind of ideal. The gold situation is not necessarily ideal, but the power-ups should help us uh, pretty significantly here. Ooh, Sheriff Star, that's very much worth keeping. I will definitely trade that. Probably one of the only things I would trade the, the wagon wheel for. Perfect, perfect. Grab that. 
It's still early enough in the game that I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna bank on holding on to the share of star until Fector. I think that's that would be a little bit too cute to try and hold on to that. That would be just a bit too like too good to use syndrome esque. So I'll use it if I get into a dicey situation here, but I'm gonna try and uh and make it really count if I should have used it. I should have used it, man. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. We go again. We go again. Man, it can all just come toppling down so easily, huh? <laughs> all just that quickly. Start a new journey, please. All right, we are on to attempt number four. Attempt number four at Factor's Challenge. Ain't no big thing. coffee. I'll hold on to it because I kind of have to. I would probably rat. Yeah, we'll take that over the coffee for sure. Oh, little, little spooky. Little spooked. Mild spookage, but we made it out okay. Grab that, please. That is very nice. Combined with that, it's even better. <laughs> Puts us in a great spot here. I'll take the gold, please. Oh my gosh, the gold. I, I was I was just about to start complaining about how little gold we've gotten so far, and then they, they made me shut up real quick. Anyone else? All right, there we go. <laughs> Gotta love those moments when there's, like, literally nobody because you're just that good. You, you just cleared the entire field, and they're so scared to come out. Now, that's a good feeling. One up, not worth it, but that is probably worth it. There we go, easy. Seven gold. Seven gold is, is roughly halfway to what we need for our first, uh, our first upgrade here, so... As long as we can sort of make that happen in the second level here. Petting pie to reduce stress. I respect it. I have to imagine pie, pie is by our side as we're going through the... The harshness of Prairie King here. Okay, that was... Yeah, I think that was, that was probably called for. <laughs> Hate having to use it so early on, but... Doesn't matter how early on it is, you can you can get into a sticky situation at any point in this game. Uh yeah, I'll take that. And that gold, please, please. Okay, I will use that to try and get to the gold. If I can, thank you. Love to see it. But I got coffee in reserve. I'd like to trade that up for something. Next chance I get. Or maybe more coffee? <laughs> the game's like, oh, I heard you wanted some coffee. So I put some coffee in your coffee. Definitely trade up for that. Ooh, little spooky. Little, little spooky. Little, little spooky scary. Get me out of this corner, man. 12 gold. We really need some, some quick gold drops at the end here to make this work. Drop five. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Alright, uh... I'll take the I'll take the fire rate upgrade and and put my optimistic hope in the game that it will give me the enough to afford the damage upgrade next time. I feel like that's... It's not always the smart play, but it feels okay this time. Intensive Porpoise, welcome on in. <laughs> welcome to the party. Alright. Coffee in your coffee is like an espresso shot. A little triple shot espresso. Coffee in your coffee in your coffee. How deep can can the coffee hole go? Excuse me, sir? Okay, I will take that for sure. That was that was pretty lucky, honestly. I was if I didn't get some sort of like luck with the power-ups there, I think I probably was dead. Take that for sure. Uh, I would like to take that, actually, very much. <laughs> okay, doing alright. 
Grab the gold. Just saying, a, f a five gold cash injection would really hit the spot right now. It would really hit the spot. Don't know if that was strictly necessary, but it just felt right in the moment. You gotta trust your gut when when those when those feelings do come around. Got this. Got what do I have in reserve right now? I have coffee in reserve. Got coffee in reserve. Like it's Starbucks before they open for the day. Keep on the diagonals. Grab that. That's extremely useful. Get this guy out of here. Okay. Good shape, good shape. Need four more gold in order to afford our damage upgrade. That should be perfectly reasonable to get, although actually picking up the gold on this next level is where you run into problems sometimes. Ophir, welcome on in. You, you did join during... Probably the most intense challenge we're going to have in the randomizer for, for a little while yet to come, I would say. They're giving me, they're giving me all the one-ups I could ever want. <laughs> all the one-ups I want, none of the power-ups I need. Okay, sneak these guys through here. Grab that, definitely. It's not huge for this level, but it is, it is still helpful. Okay, I could really, could really use some juice right now. Some juice in some capacity. And not of the hot bean juice variety, preferably. Okay, that's really good. I think we need one more gold. If my math is correct, I'm not looking up the gold counter, because that's, like, suicide. <laughs> oh, I see a gold out there, but it's way too far out to actually pick up. Shoot. It would be, that would be a death mission. I'm going to try it. It's, it puts you out here, but it's it's a, it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy to get put out there like that. Did help clear out some of the riffraff at the very least. What is that dude doing? What is he doing? I forget that this guy even exists in this game. He causes more problems than he's... I think all the enemies like start chasing him for a little while, which can honestly throw off my, my rhythm a little bit sometimes. But it didn't mess us up too bad here. Okay, I'll grab... Yeah, perfect, perfect. I think that should be an, exactly enough gold. Which I would I would have liked to end with a little bit more gold, but beggars can't be choosers. What is that? I don't know, dude. That gopher, he just like comes out of nowhere sometimes. He's a little weird. He's just a little weirdo. <laughs> I think all he does is like lure the enemy's attention away from you. Which can be a blessing, but can also like because like you're so used to the enemies coming towards you, right? That you're not always not always prepared for that situation. Oh, this guy's playing it smart today. Not smart enough though. Oh, he's really he's really cowering back there. I thought cowboys were supposed to be like brave or something. What is this guy's problem? Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, he's not, wasn't quite far. Need the little brim of your hat. You got to protect the brim of your hat. All good cowboys know this. Man, this guy is, this guy's the worst. He's the worst of all time. That would have been really embarrassing if he killed me. <laughs> all right. Beautiful. No, he doesn't stand a chance. Exactly. I'm not being toxic. I'm being intimidating. There, there's a, there's a moderate difference there. All right, on to world two. We've made it pretty deep into world two. Actually, we've made it to world three without dying on like our on our second attempt there, right? So, so that's our current personal best, at least for this you know run of attempts at Factor Challenge. Obviously, I've, my personal best is technically having like beaten the whole challenge, but but that was a long time ago. Okay, really could use some gold drops here. We might end up having to miss the uh, the next shop. 
I doubt we're gonna have enough uh, money for for the uh, for any power ups. But if we can get set up for the shop after that, that would be phenomenal. To that end, I would appreciate some like some money. Can I just, like, inject some of my own money into the game? Like, I've got 20 million dollars. It's not a problem. If you want me to pay, like, a million dollars for, for one coin in Journey of the Prairie King, might be a bit, a bit of a tough sell, but if I was in a dire enough position, I might, I might honestly agree to it. Let's make a deal here, you and me. Come on, Fector. I know you want to. Okay, that power-up's pretty good. Take that real quick. Get this guy out of here. Deal with the toads on the side. Okay, perfect. Four coins, not enough for even the most minimal of upgrades. Gonna have to skip this shop. We can make it work. We can make it work. Literal microtransactions. Alright. Carry on. Taking you back to Price of Perfection days and you love it. We did have quite a few fun times with Journey to the Prairie King in that in that challenge, did we not? I just, I just, it felt, it, that felt right. I can't tell you specifically why, but it felt like it was, uh, it was a just cause. We'll get another Sheriff Star, don't you worry about it. Grab those for sure. Yeah, trade that up. Oh my gosh, they're giving they're give, they're giving me the spread shot more than they're giving me like money even. That's wild. I'll take it. It's a good it's a good power up to have. But I do need that money, honey. Okay. Ooh. Go for it. Okay, more spread shot, please. More. There's more where that came from. Don't take the nukes. Don't take the nukes if you can help it here. Because they, enemies will not drop power-ups or money or anything if you kill them with those. Very much a panic button sort of situation. Doing alright. Doing a-okay. Some would even say... A-O oh, good. Alright, keep going to the next level while we still got this power-up. I don't know if we're going to get much use out of it, but... It's the principle of the matter. Perfect timing. Perfect timing for it to run out. Jeez Louise. Okay. We'll make it work. Yeah, get, yeah give me that. Get out of here. I'm not killing anything, dude. Okay, get these guys. Get clear, clear out all this riffraff. Okay, perfect, perfect. That was good. Took a little second to get going there, but once we got going, we were good. That's the money is flowing pretty well on this level. I appreciate that greatly. I've still got a wagon wheel in reserve. Do not hesitate to use it. In fact, I'm going to use it right there. And we'll grab that. And honestly, trade up for this. The invincibility is, is greatly appreciated. level always freaks me out. It always freaks me out. I'm not taking any chances here. No chances. No reason to take a chance on this one. Get out of here with that. Okay. Machine gun power. Bro. <laughs> Those butterflies, man. Those butterflies, they can be a little sneaky. A little sneaky sometimes. A little sneaky snaky. Okay. Perfect, perfect. 25 gold. Doesn't give us enough for the... Oh, gosh. I hate that. I hate that, man. <laughs> I need that damage upgrade. I really do. That's a, that's such an awkward position. I think I'm going to take the speed upgrade, to be honest with you here. Give me some kind of benefit. I need to take... I can't skip another shop. 
That's that's the thing. I can't skip another shop, but I need to save up enough money so that if I do make it to the next shop, which I very well might not without that other damage upgrade, then I uh then I'll have enough to afford it because I need that for world three. It's like non negotiable. Alright. World two boss, right? Lock it in. Don't let him get the best of you. These guys are the easy ones. These are the easy levels. But you still gotta play it smart. A wayward bullet can and has gotten me before. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. There's no time limit on these levels. Take all the time your heart desires. A little to the side, a little to the side. Not quite. Okay, just don't don't risk it, don't risk it. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, come on, man. Ooh, dancing with the devil. Okay. Perfect, got him. Oh, all right, that boss fight was a little more intense than I was than I was bargaining bargaining for, honestly. But all right, wipe the sweat off the palms. <laughs> Have a good one there, Deluxe Trash. If you're still here, have a great night. Risk it, not even for the biscuit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you any false expectations, chat. Without that second damage upgrade going into World Three, this is gonna be an uphill battle if we've ever seen one this is going to be tough i don't i don't have the full confidence that i can make it through level one here of world three i'm gonna i'm gonna give it my all as i always do but uh be prepared am i allowing cheesing the challenge nah <laughs> i mean i might change my tune depending on how long this ultimately takes but but for now Gosh, three hits for those guys? Are you kidding me? All right, just just do that. Get yourself set up, and, and honestly, just hope for power ups. That's kind of that's kind of what I have to do without that damage upgrade. I just have to hope for good power up luck, and start building up towards that towards that upgrade, because we're gonna need it. Give me give me some kind of power up to to fall back on here, please. Anything. Just anything. <laughs> okay, alright. We are, uh... Up a creek a little bit. Not gonna lie to you. Not the power up I wanted, man. <laughs> Come on. No. No. Yes. <laughs> go, 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 go. Just get, just get whatever. Any, kill them all. Get as many as you can. That feels good. That was phenomenal. Phenomenal timing. Thank you. Thank you. I can't do this, man. I can't. Did you see? I, I can't believe I even made it through that one. And I don't have enough money for the stupid damage upgrade. I need I need the damage upgrade. But honestly, I might just have to go for the fire rate upgrade here because the next shop I get, it's the, the last shop is before Fector. Which means if I if I get to that shop, I'm gonna, it, the damage upgrade is not even going to matter that much at that point. So I think I'm just going to have to go for this. I've never done this before. I've never been like trying to, like this deep into the game without those two damage upgrades on like a, on like a real run. So this is a uh, and I don't have a power up to fall back on either. This is uh, the odds are de are decidedly stacked against me. But we do have a pretty fast gun now, so <laughs> we'll take what we can get. All right. Focus time.
Nope. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I... <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I expected. I don't even know. Like, th thank you for that at least. I guess. And now I'm just doing this just for the fun of it, just for the thrill of the kill. But little, get a little practice in without that uh, without that damage upgrade, I suppose. <laughs> All right, we made it pretty far. We made it pretty far on that attempt. Oh man, that hurts. That one hurts for sure. I think we def I mean we definitely gave it a solid try there. That was a pretty beautiful attempt without having that second damage upgrade. I think that was about the best we could have done. Andromeda, you want to want to give me some <laughs> give me some emotional support here? We're over here playing with Homie Orion, you can join in too if you like. A little spa break. Honestly, we haven't been for we haven't been for a spa break in in a hot minute. Maybe that's the maybe that's the play here. Shaking her head. <laughs> Let's take a little trip to the spa, you know? Why not? Get some fresh air. Recalibrate our senses. And be ready for, for another good run here. Take me to the mines, please. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the bus stop. We're gonna ride all the way up to all the way up to the mines. All, all the way up to the spa house with Iota here. Let your wrists rest. My wrists are doing fine. I, I got no problem with the with the hand situation. But that's it's you know, those are long runs. Those are long runs. They can wear you down over time. Do I still have the lucky star shard? I think I do. I think it's in one of the Junima huts, actually. Alright. Take a brief moment, breathe, relax. We've done some great stuff here today. We've, we've made some great Fector's Challenge attempts so far. It has been, you know, luck hasn't necessarily been on our side, and even so, we have done some really spectacular stuff. That last run, even though, you know, we barely, we were just barely scraping by without that damage upgrade. But we scraped by that. Did you see that? Did you see World World Three Level One there? That was some next level playing. We we I mean <laughs> the fact that I made it through that at all. It's a testament. We can do this. I can do this. I can make it happen. With you all on my side, with you all supporting me, the absolute optimism, positivity, support that this community is capable of. Nothing's going to get in our way. Nothing is going to get in our way. Not Fector, not bad luck. Nothing. I can do this. I can do this. Lucky Star Shard shirt. Honestly, the Lucky Star Shard shirt, it has a star on it. Maybe that'll bring us good luck with uh with getting extra share of stars. That might be that might be a smart idea. Let's go do it. Iota, carry me home. I got a vampire to kill. You got this queen bee? She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. She ha she has a gamer room. She has a pro gamer room that she's playing this in. It's like, I mean, if, if Beatrix can't do it, who amongst us has any hope? Ophir, thank you for the 50 DKK super chat, by the way. You can do it. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate the, uh, the support. I appreciate the support. And you're right, we can do this. I can do this, I can make it happen. I've gotten close already. We've made it to World 3 deathless, like, twice in this stream alone, so... Star shirt. The star is supposed to glow in the dark, but it doesn't. We're gonna change that. We're gonna change that right now. It's been a while since I've worn my lucky shirt. Let's do this. Lucky gamer outfit. 
Here's the secret. True gamers don't care about their outfit. They wake up, they throw on whatever's ne whatever shirt is closest, and they just get to gaming. Once once they're once they're dressed, once they're decent, sometimes they don't even go that far. <laughs> I know I've been there, you know, you use you're so excited to play a game, you just roll out of bed and all of a sudden it's like game. It's gaming time. And that's the hours we're in right now. True gamers came in PJs. That's kind of the vibe we've got going on right now, actually. A little bit. Andromeda is playing with, with homie over there. That's so sweet. All right. Attempt four. Is this... I thought this was attempt five that we're going into now. Either way. Start new journey, please. Lucky star shard shirt by my side. We can make this work. We can make it work. Starting off strong, I see. Just a full, just a full wall of little goblin dudes. Are these goblins or zombies? I've never been fully decided on that. My heart wants to say zombies, but but the Stardew lore lends itself more towards goblins for sure. Going down, down to Goblin Town. Although there are, there are a lot of undead based monsters in uh, in Prairie King here. You got your mummies. You got Fector, who's like a vampire dude. I guess you don't really have any like skeletons or anything like that. Which would be the other quintessential undead creature you'd want. To confirm the zombie hypothesis, but... Ooh, thank you. Maybe they're zombie goblins. That could be cool. Zomblins? Zomblins makes me... It makes me think of piglins, honestly. Or Minecraft. And much like piglins, we need them to drop as much gold as they possibly can for me. Wait, no, it's the other way around. You, you give piglins gold for the ender pearls, right? Is that how Minecraft works? I'm a gamer sometimes. Okay. Zoblins. Hard mode didn't count as an attempt. I mean, the one where I beat it still should count as an attempt, which was the hard mode one. Hard mode wouldn't count as a separate attempt from that one. I I can I can think we can agree on that one probably, but. Ooh, thank you. Put me right next to the gold, right right where I needed to be. Sometimes the game does do you a bit of a courtesy that way. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'll take oh my gosh, what what are you doing? You're just giving me all the power-ups. Don't get too don't get too overwhelmed by it though. I'm trying to lull you into a false sense of security, but you're never secure in, in Journey of the Prairie King. That's the secret. That was pretty wild, though. Alright, give me that for sure. We're almost up to enough to afford the first damage upgrade, which would be ideal for the first shop. The Star Shard shirt is coming in clutch. I can already feel it in my bones. I mean, we already, we already got our first Sheriff Star, if that doesn't tell you what you need to know. I don't know what will. Okay. Ooh, I wish I could save that. I wish I could just hold on to that for the next level, but we'll, we'll at least use it to secure the win here. 15 gold exactly. It was meant to be. It was just meant to be. All right. Keep on going. Got that last gold is like one of the last drops from those, from the from the zombie goblins too. They're setting me up quite nicely so far, but I still got to execute here. Very nice, very nice. Come on, give me a give me a give me a wagon wheel at the same time as the sheriff star. Would you be would you do me that service? Make me feel like the true bullet hell boss I know I can be. I'll take that, I guess. 
Anyone else? All right. I probably shouldn't, like, taunt the enemies. <laughs> it's not going to end well for me when everything's said and done, I don't think. In World 3, I'm going to be regretting that. you sneak up on these spike tops, dude. Actually, they kind of created a nice little choke point there that I can trap other dudes in, but I still want to get rid of those, to be honest. I don't trust myself around them. I want all the space in the world to dodge, as much as I can, anyway. Oh, A little dicey for a second there, but we're fine. We're fine. We're, we're going to make it through. Don't you worry. Who am, I, who am I even talking to saying not to worry? You might think I'm talking to you, chat, telling you not to worry, but I'm really talking to myself. <laughs> there we go. Five gold is not really great, but realistically, we've already got our first damage upgrade, so. So we can, we can afford, we can technically even afford to, like, skip this next shop. I would rather not skip the next shop if we don't have to, but, but depending on, on where our gold luck falls... We might uh, might be find ourselves in a bit of a spicy position. Mm, not gonna risk that. There's no gold out there. If there had been some gold that I could theoretically, you know, pause enemies and try and like run for it to get it, then then that would have been probably a smart play. But the gold is. The gold is quite sparse right now. It is not flowing freely. I'm not even a I'm not even asking for a five gold drop here. Just just a mere a measly morsel of a one gold drop would would wet my whistle quite nicely. Just go just go nuts for a second. Now is when they're probably going to start dropping gold down down south there when it's like literally impossible to get to. <laughs> I'm going to hope not, but that's usually the way these things go. Or not. All right. Well, they're not even going to give me a hope, a chance at all. All right. Jeez. Where are you going? Where, dude, where are you going? Bro, what the hell? Oh, thank you, actually. <laughs> that was kind of cool. All right. A little gold at the very end there. I could buy the speed upgrade. But I really think I should save. I really think I should skip and save. Like I said, you can skip one shop, especially early in the game here. We'll save up for our next uh, for our fire rate upgrade. I think I'm I think I'm I think I'm comfortable with that. Lock it in. Here we go. First boss. You'll never take me alive, he says. It's a good thing. That that wasn't the plan at all. That was way too close. <laughs> that was way too perilously close, that one there. Even the, even these bosses can get a lucky shot every now and again. Wasn't enough today, though. Alright. Easy peasy. <sighs> quick little Quick little hydration moment here. You got this. Thank you, Mazer. Thank you. Onward to World 2. World 2, where champions are born and legends are told. If you can if you can make it through World 2, you got a real shot at this thing. Especially if you get some upgrades along the way. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Don't bite the dust at all, preferably, but especially not that early. <laughs> Okay, that's good, that's good. Grab that. Grab both of those. Thank you for the gold. Doing great here. Still got that Sheriff Star in reserve. Don't hesitate to use that if you really need to. Grab that for sure. Sure, I mean, why not that? You tell me you see a carbon copy of your own face on the ground, you're not going to at least entertain the idea of picking it up? 
even if it has no benefit to you whatsoever? Aren't you just wondering why they had it in the first place? I felt the storm coming on that one. I can't explain why or how, but I was like, the Sheriff Star needs to needs to pop immediately. It's okay, there's more where that came from. It's not going to be the only Sheriff Star we get in the run. This much I promise you. Okay, actually I'll hold on to that in reserve. We have enough, I think, for the for the fire rate upgrade, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Easy. That's an easy buy for sure. Now getting 22 gold for the next damage upgrade. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but it's doable. It's doable. 22 gold in two levels, 11 gold per level average. I've done better than that before. Make it happen. It is a tall order. That's a lot of money. But, you know, one or two five gold coin drops, even just one, one five gold drop, can set you on a path to success. Careful here, careful, careful. I think that probably saved my life. <laughs> I honestly, I pressed the button and I didn't even remember what I had in reserve. So, so I'm glad it was a nuke because I think that was one of the only things that probably could have actually saved me right there. We got another one in reserve as well, so do not hesitate. Case in point. Okay. does. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Okay. Makes a big, big difference. Grab that gladly. I'm just watching my 6 right now. I guess technically it's my 12, but okay. Because I really don't want to get swarmed by these guys. Alright, alright. Breathe. Take a, take a moment to breathe. Take a moment to think of just... Flexibility, love, and trust. How many gold? How much gold did we get there? We got 10 gold, right? 10, 10 out of 11 gold. We need 12 gold for this next level. Very doable. Very, very doable. Tough crowd. <laughs> Yo, Jess, welcome on in. Happy you're able to make a stream here. All right. Yeah, that was pretty rough. That was pretty rough having to use like multiple nukes and stuff to get through that, but we made it through. Now here we go. Trial by fire. Ironic because there's like two rivers, but holy moly! I was that was I was mere pixels away. If I if that thing had been coming at me from a different direction, I think that would have been the run right there. Would have been night night. Huge, huge get. Don't let it go to waste. Do not let it go to waste. Whatever you do. Pull out all the stops. We're doing this. Pure focus. Just just keep on. Keep your thumb on that space bar. Get ready for the worst. We're not through it yet. We're not through it yet. We're not through it yet. Let's go. Huge. Huge. I don't love using these power-ups like immediately as I get them every single time, but if it keeps me alive through this level, which is Arguably, I would say, one of the hardest levels in the game. It was worth it. 37 gold. That is amazing. That is phenomenal. Give me that damage upgrade, and we got plenty plenty for the next shop. Oh, really good position. Really, really good. Okay. 
back into back into world three hopefully if we can just we can just knock this guy out this should be the easy part beauty beauty off to a good start let the music flow through you it's great music might be my favorite Prairie King song. Is is just like the boss music in general. The final boss music is pretty, pretty hype too. But, but you gotta admit this hits this hits a certain kind of way. Okay, almost got him. Don't let a rogue bullet catch you with your pants down. There we go. Perfect. Not bad. Not bad in the slightest. It's like cowboy synth wave. That's a great way to describe it, Colleen. All right, back into World Three. Back in, we. This is our third time we've made it into World Three, Deathless, in like what five attempts. This is this is this challenge is not long for this world. I'm telling you. Don't get cocky though. This is this is really where <laughs> where the situation becomes desperate and dire. But we've got I've got the double damage upgrades. That makes a world of difference. It's still the hardest levels in the game. But at least I one-shot those guys. That is really the difference maker there. No power-ups in reserve. That's actually really good to have. That gold would be an immaculate, so I'm going to go ahead and, and use that to get it. Okay. Take that. Do a little switcheroo. Like so. Honestly, I'm going to do that so I can start grabbing some of this gold. That is ridiculous. I don't, I don't even have enough speed to make it to all the gold, dude. <laughs> what is this? What are these drops, man? I'm, I'm rich. <laughs> Holy moly. Holy moolah is more like it. All right, I've got a nuke in reserve. That's pretty big. And I'm not going to hesitate to use it when I when I feel the time is right. Time is right. Okay. I don't love the situation I just put myself in for a second there, but it's fine. We're good. That's incredible, excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna give me a Sheriff Star in World 3? To what do I owe the pleasure? Oh man. <laughs> I'm one shy of that extra that extra fire rate upgrade. I think I will take the speed upgrade, honestly. I think I will gladly take the speed upgrade. It's the Star Shard shirt. I mean it's the it's the key difference maker, right? Yeah, we take we take the boots on that one. I did need one more gold. If I had only went, let, got, managed to make it to one more gold in time. Man, could have used the coffee at that moment, I guess. Alright. Still well within our range to be able to get the final fire rate upgrade in time for the final boss. That would be amazing. I would also love, love, love to save this uh, Sheriff Star for the final boss, but I'm not going to be too precious with it. Make this happen. Doing all right. Might get a little quiet here. I hope you can forgive me for that. <laughs> but I feel like most of us would. I had to. Oh, thank you so much. What the heck? Huge, huge, absolutely monstrous. Okay.
I need to get up to 20 gold, right? One gold, one gold. We can definitely get one gold, and beyond that, we don't really need any other pickups. Oh, I should have been used. I should have can just continued because I have the Sheriff Star. It's fine. It's fine. We can still make this happen. I pressed this. I pressed the power up button, man. I pressed it. I pressed it. My my finger was on the trigger a frame after he hit me, man. A frame. Oh, you're really gonna. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you kidding me with that? Come on, man. <laughs> gonna that one's gonna gonna sting for a little while <laughs> Ooh, I was there I was right there I had the sheriff star I was ready to use it I was just man man oh that should have been that should have been it that should have been the moment gonna get this and everything Are you kidding me oh geez well yeah, we can get we'll get a little practice in on Factor. That's very true. I mean, this is <laughs> this is kind of what you want, right? <laughs> well, there you go. That's how you, that's how Factor can go if you get if you bring a if you bring the Sheriff Star in. Sheriff Star or a machine gun will also get you there. That's that's the trick. That's the ticket. If you that's that's why you want to save one of those like high fire rate power ups for Fector specifically. You, if you just look get the correct line, it's it's lights out. <laughs> that's why it's so devastating that I just oh I was so, I, one like single frame, like a handful of frames at the most separated me from being able to survive that. I was just so. Urgh, that hurts. That hurts. We're going hard mode. We're going hard mode. Blow, blow some steam off here. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough time in the stream for for another attempt at act an actual effectors challenge. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. A little crazy in hard mode, see how it gets. I mean, maybe I can do Factor's Challenge in hard mode. Wouldn't that be something else? World first? Probably not, actually, but... <laughs> I don't even know if it would count. Well, I guess there's no way to tell if the if if it, like, counts in, uh... Like, in-game, right? Like, like I've already unlocked the achievements, so the game wouldn't, like, re-unlock the achievement, and there's nothing in the game specifically that would show you whether you've done Factor's Challenge. So it would, it would just be up to, like our own personal judgment is like if, if I beat hard mode without dying would that count as a factor challenge win I don't I don't think I have the answer to that it's not gonna happen but <laughs> you know a man can dream have a good one there Lisa thank you for hanging out by the way and thank you for keeping the goals updated as always you are the MVP Just 
keep having flashbacks to that 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 final level before Factor. That was I was I was right there, man. I was right there. <laughs> it hurts so much. That'd be wild, and you'd say it counts. Like I said, it's it's, it's certainly not gonna happen, but. It's, I mean, I just I just want to play hard mode anyway. Even if I could just, like, beat hard mode. I've never beaten hard mode, so... I would be... I would be over the moon to even complete that. I'm trying to think of, like, what the furthest I've even made it into hard mode is. I'm pretty sure I've made it to World 2 in hard mode before, but I don't know that I've ever made it to World 3. There is a first time for everything, though, if we can... If luck is on our side here. Nope. <laughs> yeah, well, there goes there goes the Factor's Challenge Dream on hard mode anyway. But you know, just for just for style points, keep on going. At least get some good practice in. Who knows if we get enough like lucky gold drops, maybe we can like buy out the shop and just and and just have some fun that way. <laughs> See what like the higher tier upgrades in the shop are. Get them all, get them all, take them out. I get, I got a freaking one up in that somehow. That's kind of wild. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Nothing, not even, not able to afford even the speed upgrade this time. The the minimum upgrade would cost now right now is twenty. That's kind of wild. Yeah, look at those little pips on the on the on the right hand side of the screen as well, just piling up. I think that's the number of levels you've completed. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what that's counting. I didn't realize they didn't reset between, like, hard modes, so that's kind of cool to see that. Bro, a power-up? A morsel of a power-up, sire? Please? Please? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, don't call it hard mode for nothing, I guess. You still going? I am still going. This is probably this is probably going to be it for me. This is just a, a cheeky little hard mode run for for funsies. You know, chat. If I'm I'm just saying, maybe we could even if I just beat hard mode, just you know, even with deaths and everything in there, maybe we can just count that for the goal. Because technically, I've never beaten hard mode, and I have beaten Factor's Challenge, so this is just, like, even harder, basically. It's just, e like, literally, it's just even harder. So, I don't know. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do you dirty like that. I wouldn't rob you of a proper Factor's Challenge completion. But maybe I can give you, in addition to that, a lovely hard mode completion as well. We're still too early on to say, but... Please rob me. <laughs> Better suggestion, add beating hard mode as another goal. Alright, now that's pure... that's pure masochist... masochistic hours. A little Junimo cart to wind down. Back back when we had the quest and we didn't know how good we had it, people were like, no, don't play Junimo cart. No, we don't want to see that and be stressed out by that. Now the people, they're begging for Junimo cart. They're like, please, please. 
a little bit of Junimo Kart to de-stress. <laughs> what is this level, man? What is happening? <laughs> Just, I just keep me safe in my little box here. I just want to stay safe. Oh, oh, I can get. I could if I could just get that. I can't get those, man. I can't get them. <laughs> There's too many. There's too many men. There's too many little guys. What in the world? Chat, is this what is this what like regular mode feels like to to most of you out there? Because I know a lot of people struggle with like, with, is I a lot of people struggle with just like regular Prairie King. Is this is this is that how it feels to you? Because <laughs> if so, I totally get it. That's that's too that's overwhelming, man. That's too much. That is just too much. Ooh, thank you. There's so there's so many there's so many. <laughs> I ca I can't man I can't. How do they they just keep on coming? Don't you dare! Don't fly into my little my little pen here. I've closed it off to you for a reason, and I would re I would appreciate if you would respect my boundy boundaries and my boundaries too. No! <laughs> I was trying to go get greedy and go for that uh that sheriff star. Alright, I think this is this is probably probably where it ends. In all in all likelihood. Yeah, at least nothing else is spawning though, so that means and we should make it hopefully make it through this level at least. Boom. Done. Respect my boundaries, baby. Alright. Um I'm probably not gonna survive to see another shop, so just buy the buy the speed upgrade, man. Why not? Give you that extra mobi mobility. I don't even know if these bosses are like at all harder in in hard mode here. Maybe they have like more health or something? It certainly doesn't feel that way, though. <laughs> Alright. Oh, they don't drop the one up, though. That's how they make it harder on you. Fair enough. I did AO good today. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's see how much longer I can keep this, this dream going. Oh, the mushrooms take two hits. We're done. It's over. It's, it's, it's... Call me, call me a Twitch emoji, because I'm Jover, baby. Oh, no. Oh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> oh, boy. There you go. Game over. Holy moly. Well. It was a valiant effort. It was a valiant attempt. Unfortunately... It was, it was the cards were not in our favor today. We were like, we were so close. We were just so close. I could taste it. I could taste the Fector's Challenge win. But it was not meant to be today, unfortunately. We'll lock it in. Andromeda, are you all right? <laughs> Andromeda's telling me to go to bed, I think. We'll lock it in that way because that because we set up like the Prairie King machine today, so... So I'll lock it in so that it's just ready to go for next time. Bam. Alright. Call me a Twitch emoji because I'm Jover. Is the oldest that it's ever felt. That you've ever felt. I can understand that, honestly. Alright, folks. That's gonna have to be it for me, I think. Closing in on five hours for this stream. That's uh, that's above and beyond. Fector's Challenge, you know, it really it gives me the energy. I keep on going a lot of the time, so. <laughs> Thank you for seeing this through with me. Next time, guaranteed, we are going to go ahead and beat Fector's Challenge. As for when next time will be, remains to be seen. There may be a Monday stream. Pardon me. There may be a stream on Monday. Monday evening, probably. Before uh, before 1.6 comes out on Tuesday. Otherwise, I will see you officially 
in Stardew Valley version 1.6. Remains to be seen. Let me get out of your way, Orion. Oh, he just, no, he just wanted to be close. All right. I appreciate you. All right. Well, take care, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And uh, whether I see you in version 1.6 in the stream or not, it's it's up to you. I understand if you're not here, if you don't want to spoil it for yourselves. That's entirely your call. Either way, I will see you in the future. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And as always, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and good night, everybody. Bye-bye.